still punchy. Snowman. What's up, stream? Yo, Johnny Mike already coming through out of here. First comment of the stream. Thanks for joining, dude. So this guy originally was gonna go, uh, Jackie, and he decides to switch it to sub. I kind of wish I picked my character earlier, so I would have, I would have rather fought as Jackie than a sub, to be honest. What up, Arthur, Jado, Michael, already coming through out here. Thanks for joining, guys. What up, David says, I literally just played this guy. Did you win? Did you lose? Who was he playing? Thanks for joining the stream already, guys. Drop those likes if you haven't already. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Johnny Mike already dropping a like out here. Thank you very much, man. Uh, a slick how you doing slick been a little while good sir Ooh, look at that movement hold up hold up uh mustak edino and a cecil thanks for the likes guys appreciate it all right we'll take that I only like being in the corner, though. David says he won 2-0. Oh, okay. Was this guy using sub against you? Fight. I'll take that. <gasps> Ryan with the like. Thank you, Ryan. Ugh. Ah! I didn't punish! No way. David, John, Adam, thanks for the life, guys. I can't believe I didn't punch that. What's this shit? Oh, I fucking knew. I knew it was coming. I knew it. Okay. That's one game. David, John, Adam, Ryan, thank you very much, everyone, for dropping those likes out here. I appreciate it. David says he played Fujin and Garrus. Wonder why he went sub against me. A walk? Dropping a like out here. Thank you, man. Mustache says hi. What up, man? Slick, how you doing, dude? Uh, I hope you're doing well. I saw you got, like, fifth in an Injustice 2 tournament. Even beat out Mason or something like that, man. Good stuff, Slick. Like to see that you're keeping the, the Flash uh, alive out here, dude. Cecil says, what's up, be a happy Monday. Ten more days until Thanksgiving in the United States. Hey, what's the next holiday after that? Black Friday, I guess? Gotta do a Hive game night soon, says Slick. Yo, when we gonna play? You wanna play some Risk again, man? Dom, Monsolo, thanks for the likes. Dude, Risk was actually mad fun. Kinda miss it. Kinda miss it. John says, what up? What up, John? How you doing, man? Monsolo, Thom, thanks for dropping those likes, guys. I appreciate it. Oh. I hate Sub-Zero. How'd I get hit by that shit? Uh oh. Hold up. We can make a comeback. We're only down, like, 50%. We can make a comeback. Danny, Eddie, thanks for the likes, guys. Okay, we'll take that. He's not dead though. Kind of wish I had Fatal Blow to do something, but you know, we have a plan. We always have a plan. Mm, what a bitch. Glaciato, Amet, Nasser, Eddie, Danny. Thanks for dropping all those likes out here. I appreciate it. David said, I'd mark MFs in Risk. Not gonna lie, yeah. Have you ever played uh, Risk Urban Assault on the PlayStation? I got it and it was it's 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 not like standard risk because instead of like conquering the world you're conquering like 
like city areas like like New York or like Shanghai, Paris, some shit like that, France, whatever. Instead, so you're doing that instead. But it's it's pretty fun, not gonna lie. I and you there's some differences in, in the gameplay, but yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting, I, I will say. What are you doing? Nasser, Clesiado, Gonzalo, thanks for the likes, guys. Appreciate it. Khalil says, Bisama, what up? What up, Khalil? How you doing, man? Huh? This man's not getting... Man's not even uh, getting shimmied, but he's still teching me? Don't be teching me like that, man. Ricardo, Jimmy, uh, thanks for the likes, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, Slick says, I've been trying to get better with Flash. I'm down for some risk. Man, we need, we need to get a high game night going one of these days, then. I had um I had a hat man in my chat like last week talking about how he wanted to get some uh, a monopoly night going and you know we could potentially be down for some monopoly too like I could I could oh oh okay ooh I think you're dead I think you're dead. Feel him leave. Ricardo, Jimmy, Justin, thank you very much for dropping those likes out here. I appreciate y'all coming through the stream. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Michael says put a bug in his ear or up his rear. Damn. Sorry, I couldn't uh, oblige with that request. Definitely never played Risk Urban Assault, but I could see how the game could play better with, with like uh, more checkpoints and geography and shit. Um, oh, I don't I don't have Risk Urban Assault downloaded on this, but I I know I have it in the library somewhere. I must have it somewhere. Hold up. Where is it? I I know I have it somewhere. I think I bought it for like 10 bucks or something. Here, this one. Risk Urban Assault. This shit's like actually pretty fun, but it's, it's it it can be a long game, and sometimes it glitches out. So you could literally be playing a you could literally be playing a match for like an hour, and then it might just glitch out, and then you might just uh, the whole the whole squad might have to hold an L there. Uh, Tom, thanks for dropping that like. Tristan with the like and share. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Do you see the spirit ball corner opti I post on high video? Not mine, speed demons. Yeah, I did see that. I might I might have to start doing that. Um, let me let me let me uh let me pull that up again. Was it Mario Party or Mario Kart? Can't remember, says Michael. Mario Party first. I wanna see that like you've been trying to do. We were talking about doing a Mario Party uh, game as well. And I would be down for that. Dude, Michael, if you've never seen me play Mario Party. I, I, I don't want to toot my own horn, like, too much, but, like, I'm pretty fucking good. I'm pretty fucking good at Mario Party, man. Like, my, I, in mini games, no one's ready for me in some of these mini games, man. Like, I'm telling you, I just, I just fuck people up. Um, this is, this is David Zoller's optimal nude cyborg combo. Hold up. That, interesting with a little backdash into it. Is that what you have to do, I guess? And then that, eee, 40, 44% off of a 2 one two. Little back thing into a forward three into a spirit ball. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Pretty sick, not gonna lie. Nightwolf. Tristan says, what up, buddy? How you doing, man? Thanks for joining. All right, let's 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 go with uh, let's go with some noob. Maybe we can hit this uh, corner off you. What up, Angela? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, have you played any Ragnarok yet, or you're starting fresh when you stream it? Says Arthur. It's I'm gonna be doing like all my Ragnarok playthrough. Is I'm planning to do that on stream, um, but I have not started playing it yet. I'm just waiting a little bit before we, we get into it. You just have a way to convince people you're on their side, says Tristan. It's like I just I just show people you know the the options and the. Uh, because we broke her. Yeah, you know, I just I just talk about the game, man. I just I let people know who's winning. I let people know who the threats are. As long as it's not me. I just let people know. Arthur, thanks for the like. 
Have a way of convincing people you're on their side. I have a video to send you as well as some spicy flawless blockage. Eh? Yeah? Okay. We'll take that. Darren Arthur. Thanks for the likes, guys. In the end, the threat is you. <laughs> You know what's funny is my family is like the same way when we play Catan. Like they'll just target me even when I'm not in the lead because they'll be like, well, you always have a way of coming back. I'm like, well, that's bullshit. That's not how you should be playing the game just because it's like I don't win every time. Like sometimes I win, you know. Los, uh, Holsey, Kenny, Logan, thanks for likes, guys. Appreciate it. Johnny Mike said, did I hear Mario Party? Yeah, we're talking about how we, sh we do want to play it at some point. But yeah, thanks for joining the stream, everyone. Appreciate you guys coming through out here. We're just doing a little bit of combat league grinding for now. There is going to be an update for uh, Rumbleverse Season 2, by the way. It's starting tomorrow. The devs are doing a stream today in like an hour and a half. I might tune in for that to, to, to see what's uh, all happening out here. Jacob dropping a like and five hundo Twinkies. Hold up, hashtag Jacob in the chat says big shout out to Ash Ketchum for winning the Pokemon World Championship this weekend. 25 years, he finally did it, and he's still 10. And he's still 10. He should be looking like me. 12. Mer, you know. <clears throat> But that's pretty cool. But it's, it's kind of, I, I saw some people were actually kind of annoyed because it was like a spoiler because it aired in Japan before like America and some people that have actually been watching, keeping up with the anime got spoiled. And honestly, that sounds kind of annoying. If I was like a, a Pokemon watcher and I was waiting to, to see that and everyone's talking about it, I, I would honestly be kind of, kind of annoyed. Uh, Martin, thanks for the like. Uh oh no 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 ah 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 fuck gerard michael tom martins thanks for dropping all those likes out here guys i appreciate it hold up what do you think you're doing Demon of MK11, Huckleberry underscore FTC. Oh, fuck. Alright, what you got? Nice drop. Oh! Of course, everyone... Dude, everyone just goes through Noob's move. Who, who came up with that, man? Who came up with that and said, yeah, let's do that. Let's make everyone fucking just go through Noob Cybot's fucking attack here. Who came up with that shit? I want to know. I want to speak to someone at NRS about that. What up, Tom? This came on to Noob. Let's go. How's life be? It's going good, man. How you doing, Tom? Thanks for tuning in, dude. Cecil dropping a toxic frog sticker in the chat. Even though we're not technically on the account, but it's okay. Hold this. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Quentin dropping a like out here. Oh, well, that's nice. He said he's a huge fan. I might have to mercy him the next game. How you doing, Quentin? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate everyone joining. We're at 43 reactions on the stream. Only live for 14 minutes and 20 seconds. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Drop those likes if you haven't already. If anyone... um does want to play a couple games today let me know quentin with the like and share thank you thank you i i'm i'm considering tuning into a, a rumbleverse uh update stream in like an hour and a half just to see uh what's all the changes going on with uh you know one of my one of my new one of my new ha favorite games uh jacob says my daughter won't watch a championship episode until she gets to it 
I was proud of her. Does she know that Ash won? How old is she? That's that's some good restraint. That's some good discipline right there. I I respect that. Matthew in the chat dropping a like out here. Thank you, man. <clears throat> Gwen says sorry, I haven't been here. I learned a, a co-worker trying to kill me because he thinks I reported him. So my job's handling it today. Apparently, if they don't, I will. What the? What the fuck? Yo, Quentin. Yo, Quentin. You, Quentin. I'm talking to you right now, Quentin. Quentin, stay safe out there. Don't be doing nothing stupid, okay? Please, please, Quentin. Do not do anything stupid, all right? Please, please be safe out there, man. Please be safe. Some people out there are fucking nut jobs, man. Please, please be safe. Um. All right. So, what are we doing out here? Oh, great. We have Sindel. Mm. Okay, who do you want to use? I, I'm gonna go Kotal. I'm gonna go Kotal because sometimes Kotal does all right. Teabag and Fatal show no mercy, fan or not. Wait, is this the same fan? No, this is someone else, isn't it? What happened to the fan? Seven told her when I saw on Instagram, she said she wants to see all episodes. I'm a proud father right now. Hey, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, come on. Hold up. Parry with like. Thank you, Parry. Oh, he knew. How did he know? How the fuck did you know? Oh. No. Oh, my God. Hold up. One good touch. One good command grab. There we go. Hold up. Don't don't lo leave me totems. Oh my god. Alright, we good. We good. We good. We good. Perry, thanks for the like, man. Yeah. Hey, Lupamir in the chat. What up, man? How you doing, dude? Oh my god. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ah. Hold up. Gotta get some totem stacks. Hold up. We just need, like, one good touch and we're in there. Hold up. Never mind. What was that? What the hell was that, man? Get out of here. Oh god, no. Gary, Angel, Kenneth, thanks for the likes. Appreciate it, guys. Welcome to the stream, everyone. No! No, I can't be getting got like this, man. Can't be getting got like this, man. What? No, no, no! That was actually bullshit. No, bro. No, bro. Fucking hard reads, bro. Is he dead? Is he dead? Lubomir, Michael, Chris, thanks for the likes. Please be dead. Please be dead. Please be dead. Please be dead. Hard reads. Hard reads for the win, 35% raw fatal blow! Let's go! Let's go. Quentin says, got people escorting me to and from my car for the next few weeks. Um, carry pocket knife if he tries anything, and I keep a sword in my car. Dude, just be careful out there, man. Don't be getting into fucking crazy ass, crazy ass shit there, dude. Michael, Lubomir, Chris, thanks for the likes, guys. David liked the 50-50. The 50-50 read win. Oh, gosh. Hold up.
Oh, yeah? Damn it. I really thought he was gonna stay still for a second. Oh my god, he committed! Hold up. Long Van and Zeremy. Thanks for the likes, guys. Gary drop it a let's go sticker out here. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit sweaty, man. Tristan says backstory in the video I'm gonna send real quick. I was teaching my buddy on how to read false blocks and delay wake up both, so on. Spent hours sparring each other and we have both been getting a lot better. And don't mind me squealing with excitement. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna have to check that after. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Gotta love the cat, man. It's such a good, like, like, get get the fuck off me move. The only downside is that it leaves you right next to your opponent if they block, but, like, it's still safe anyways. Oh, fuck. Take that. No. Yeah, you know the cat, man. Yo, you, you, get, you guys know this cat? Fucking love the cat, man. And Tristan was saying he was getting happy when I was doing things like this. Want me to send it on Discord or FB? Uh, send it on Discord. Discord is always uh, best, Tristan. Quinn says I'll be fine though, Tim, when he comes in for work today, Cost will be there to handle him for what my job said. It should be fine. Update you guys later on. Is he does he work there? Because if he works there, he should not be there at the same time as you if you're at needing cop escorts and shit. Like that's insane. That's insane, dude. Uh Little Mirror says, sorry, I haven't been here for a long time, been busy lately. Hey, it's all good, man. Appreciate you coming through whenever you can. Thank you everyone for joining the stream. Drop those likes if you haven't already. Matt wants to run a little first to three. I'm gonna go into a room and you can meet me here, Matt. Acid bath crossplay room. Come through and we can play. <sighs> Cats only safe on block though. Good MFs hit uh, you out of it. Like, yes, but you can still kind of like, you can still like, Use it, if you use it not full screen, it can be pretty difficult to react to it. And like the fact that you can plug gaps like one to one with cat, you can do down four cat on uh, on block, like stuff like that just is, is, is hella good, man. It's just hella good. Uh, Lewis and Nathan, thanks for the likes, appreciate it guys. All right, let me see this, let me, let's see this clip that, uh, that Tristan's sending us over here. Let's pull it up. Uh, Nathan Lewis, thank you very much for the dropping those likes, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, hold up. One sec, Matt. Let me see this clip. Yo, that's our boy Tristan over here. Dude, it's been a while. Hope you're doing good, man. Well, yeah, man. He's had more winning streaks against me, though. I believe. Yeah, but they've been all really tight matches, so I don't really... Like, I'm technically winning by a lot more in our sets, but like I said, they've been all really fucking tight matches. Ooh. <laughs> oh god, oh my god! Hold on, stop, 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 don't do anything. Oh my god, hold on, stop. <laughs> you need to tell the stop during the match so you can clip it. Hold on, stop, 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 don't do anything. Oh my god. Hold up, hold up. They've been all really fucking tight matches. E! 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 God, oh my god! Dude, sequences like that, awesome, awesome, love it, man, love it. I, I fucking, I fucking react the same way. I react the same way when I, when stuff like this happens. Still, it feels, it feels yeah, sick. Been all really fucking tight matches. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> oh my god! Hold on, stop, stop, stop! Don't do anything. Oh my god! Oh, that's awesome, on, man. 
Uh, Nick Abu Jesus, thanks for all dropping those likes out here, guys. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Thank you very much for joining. This man, Quentin, said he has a sword in his car. I can just imagine this man coming at me with a sword. I would peace the fuck out. I would peace the fuck out. Let's try let's try some maraca. Let's try a little bit of maraca out here. How you doing, Billy? Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, this man's mirroring me now. Okay. Baraka mirror. Cecil was saying some of them Simdel players are toxic. Oh yeah, some of them are definitely toxic. That dude I was playing was wasn't that uh toxic though. Fucking sword, bro. Dude, that's scary. If someone came at me with a sword, I'm definitely dipping. But if I have a gun, you might be fucked. Quinn says, I like, keep throwing knives on me also. Like, bro, honestly, you'd probably be better suited to just get a gun. David, thanks for the like. Uh oh. Bat Cave Arsenal. This card, this man's gonna bring out some batarangs, bro. <laughs> He probably- do you have a bow staff too? Some nunchucks maybe? Oh! No, I fucking had him. <laughs> Nunchuck- <laughs> yeah, you know? I hate that I can't like combo into a brood off of that. <sighs> Quinn gets out of his car with the katana, like I'm a scorpion main and trained in the ways of the Shirai Ryu. <laughs> Bro. Is the key to falls blocking squealing or squealing when you go for it? it seems to work for you and Justin. Yeah, it, I think it does help, honestly. The squeals. Rodrigo, David, thanks for the likes. Grappling gun. Game does a lot of setting up at first, but now I'm getting into the end game feeling of it now. Wait, for God of War? End game feeling already? Bro, it, I, it took me a, a full month to beat the last one. There's no way you're beating the game in, in a weekend, right? Rodrigo, Jason, thanks for the likes, guys. Oh, I should confirm that into field blow. That's just quite a bit of damage. Rodrigo, Jason, thanks for the likes. That's 9%. Maybe? Ah, oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah?
Ow. No way, dude. Uh, there ain't no way this man, Lovamir, is at it again, bro. There ain't no way, bro. There ain't no fucking way. Hold up. No! I was green! Oh! Ah! Mmm. -hmm. mirror. He dropped 12,800 Twiki Bob! Hashtag Lubomir in the chat, please, dude! There ain't no way this man's doing it again this week, man. There's no way. This man, Lubomir, with that almost, basically 13,000 Twiki Bob. We need the biggest hashtag love Amir in the chat right now. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate the generosity out here, man. Hold up. Oh, shit. Hold up. Hiya. 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 My Baraka's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Huge shout outs to this man, love Amir. I hope I'm saying your name right. By the way, good sir, sir Lovemir. I hope I hope I'm saying the name right out here. Uh, Richard, thanks for dropping that like as well. Huge shout out to the man Lovemir for dropping a twelve thousand eight hundred twenty. Bro, bro, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Billy was saying read above. The game does a lot. Uh, oh wait, I thought I thought that's what I was reading. Okay, wait. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something. Says, remember when I uh, when I said with Ragnarok, I wasn't really feeling it at first, personally. Now I'm fully invested. Story, I'm so excited to see what's gonna go down. Oh, I see. Okay, well that's good. I am glad to hear that, Billy. Ow. Oh, he teched the right way. Oh. Am I dead? Oh, okay. Ooh. I could have killed them if I did something smarter. Hold up. Miles with the share. Thank you very much, Miles. I appreciate that. My mom, uh, Quentin says, my mom had to go through a checklist with me before we flew to Evo. She was like, are you... Are all your weapons put up? No knives, swords, retractable bow staff, or hidden knives in your shoes? Because they will check you and your mom told you that, bro. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I didn't know I had to be so careful around Quentin. I thought this man was like, you know, nice and chill. But next thing you know, he's going to pull out a fucking bow staff. Or a hidden fucking knife. Dude, that's scary. Thank God Evo had security checks. Gabriel K, okay. thanks for the likes, guys. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Gerard in the chat was saying, win it using only a grabs? Maybe. Miles says, how you been, B? I'm doing good, dude. How you doing, Miles? Gotta love it. K in the chat says, AB. How you doing, K? Ow. Get in that corner. Man doesn't want to get uh, armor broke. Uh-oh. Ah! I'm dead. Unless he fucks us up. Alright, he got me. K says, B, what part of the body loses the most? Defeat? <laughs> Is that the joke? Nazar says, walks in, donates 13,000 Twinkies, refuses to elaborate, leaves. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty crazy stuff over here from Lubomir, man. I don't know what I did to deserve the generosity that he's shown me, but I fucking appreciate it, man.
Adam was saying, love me some good Baraka play. Hey, I'm glad you like the Baraka play, man. Tristan says, I have quite a few swords, machetes, and bowie knives, daggers, and smaller blades as well. When I was younger, I used to carry a pocket knife around with me. Uh, like a Swiss, a Swiss army knife type of deal. But I actually don't carry weapons. I just carry these guns. Miles says, at work right now, just stopping through, showing love, feeling very energetic today. Guess I took the right vitamins. Oh, well, that's good. Joshua, Rhea, thanks for the likes, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No one on my stream today. Check out the Saturday one. Definitely more lit. Oh, I don't know what that's about. Oh, yeah. Hold that buff. Increase damage! Increase damage! Momentarily! I'll be taking the right vitamins too. NGL Kappa. Final round. Fight. Rhea, Joshua, thanks for the likes, guys. A Ben Quake dropping some likes out of here. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate that. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. 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 All right. Hi, Ben Quake. Yo, Quake, I don't know if you know this. Okay, let me not cover up the Brute, because it's a pretty cool Brute. I don't want to deprive the people of, of seeing such a great brutality. Um, but yeah, Quake, we have ourselves a Rumbleverse developer update stream at Season 2 coming tomorrow for the Gunflex, by the way. Oh, shoot. I didn't even work out yet today. I didn't even work out yet today. Hold up, you see that tricep action? That's all you need. That's all you need. Someone tries to pull up with a fucking gun, show them your triceps. They're gonna fuck it. Ooh. They're gonna just be like, nah, I'm not fucking dealing with that shit. And then they're just gonna they're gonna walk away. So i I'll be okay, guys. Don't worry about me. And I live in Canada. But you guys out there in the States, you guys better take care of yourselves. Me with the like, thank you. Miles says, Oh, so you say because you're in Canada? Yeah, I what you don't believe me? Ow. Wow, Aziz Anthony, thanks for the likes, guys. Like that. Beep. Yeah. Oh, he did. Stop. I'll go to five, by the way, Tristan, if you want to go to five. Anthony Aziz, thanks for dropping those likes. Appreciate it, guys. When Brock is crouch blocking, looking at each other, they look like they're gonna kiss and catch teeth with each other. I don't know if I I thought the same thing there, Matt. I mean, it, that I might be just you. Do you wanna go to five? Yeah, we can go to five. Oh, we're doing three. GG though. How you doing, Quake? Ah! 
Uh, Shannon in the chat with the hundo Twinkies out here. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Shannon. Welcome to the stream. Never seen so many false blocks in one match in my life, says Jermaine. Oh, we've, we've done more. We've done more. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Shannon dropping a like, yo, Lubomir. Lubomir. Dropping another 3,000 Twinkie Bomb out here, dude. We need a hashtag, Shannon, and a hashtag. Lubomir in the chat. A Star Party Challenge has activated in the chat out here, guys. If you guys got some Twinkies that you'd like to send. If you guys got some uh, Twinkies you'd like to send to help crush the Star Party Challenge, active in the chat right now. We got five minutes on the clock. Hold up. I don't want to lose this Barack of Mirror. I really don't. Hold up. We need this round, and then we need another round. That's a punish. And we'll take that. Thank you very much. Hashtag Shannon in the chat. Hashtag Lubomir in the chat. We got a Star Party Challenge active right now, guys. Whenever we uh, uh, complete Star Party Challenges, we eat nasty beans out here. So if you guys want to see us eat a nasty bean. Oh, he almost had his ass. What the? This man? This man? Hold up. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god. Katrina, thanks for dropping a like out here. Billy says Honeybee is the one. Like, like Neo? Ah! You stay back. Oh! Okay, I thought I died. Oh! No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> uh, Adam, uh, drop in the like as well. Thank you, Adam. Miles says, me and my girlfriend have discussed moving there, to be honest. To Canada? Hey, go for it, man. Canada's a great place to be. Buzz, buzz. Good thing the partying stars don't carry over. Lipomir would be beating you every time. Yeah, no, for real. Like that. Emmanuels, thanks for the like. I'll take that. Matrix, one of my fave games of all time. Canada is brick 24 7, can't do it. What's that mean? This some new lingo that I I'm unaware of. Kanda is brick. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh my god. We'll take that. Adam says, where's the brutes? You know, that's a good question. He did do a brute on me, but I haven't been finding as many opportunities for these brutes. Canada is brick is crazy. It means cold. Brick means cold? Since when? What is it, like 4 or 3 now? It is 4-3 now. It is. Khalil says you never heard the term brick. It's used a lot in northern states like New York, Jersey as a slang for cold. As F? Never in my life have I heard that. Canada is brick. Canada is brick. Alright. Why? 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 Where does that come from? Because bricks are cold? I don't get it. I don't get that one. 
So excited for you to get Ragnarok. I played a huge chunk of the game so I can watch it as well. When you think you'll get it in a week, says Billy? Potentially? Maybe, maybe in a week? Oh god. Oh my god. Adam says a brick to me is cocaine, baby. You know what a brick is to me? It's a fucking brick. That's what a brick is to me. It's the thing you use in construction to make homes. Ow. Steven, thanks for the like. Oh, you. No way, dude. This man, Lubomir. Dude, you know what's crazy? This man, Lubomir. This man, Lubomir, dropped 13,000 Twinkies. Then he dropped 3,000 more Twinkies, had a Star Party Challenge active, and decides to send another 22,200 Twinkies? What the? Ain't no fucking way, dude. What the? Dude, Lubomir. Lubomir, bro. Lubomir, bro. Get the. Give me your leg. Give me your leg, dude. GG's. This is actually a pretty good set. GG's, man. Could you let him in? There ain't no way. Like, yeah, just after the Star Party Challenge ended, this man, Lubomir, with a 22,200 Twinkie Bomb. Miguel says, you're so cute. LOL. Where's our Honey Sus sticker at? It's so, it's so necessary, man. Dude, big hashtag Lubomir in the chat. Dude, thank you so much for all the Twinkies, bro. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to head back into some League of Combat out here. Hold up. Hold up. Dude, thank you so much, Lubomir, for all these ridiculous amounts. Ridiculous amounts of Twinkies, man. Dude, thank you so much, dude. That's actually... That's insanity, dude. That's insanity. Man's insane. Man's actually insane. Dude, thank you so much, bro. Like, holy crap. Holy crap, man. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. Matt says Carly can false block. Murr, GG's. Baraka, my Baraka trash? You know, you were doing all right. You got three three wins on me. That's pretty darn good. Daniel, Jorge, thanks for dropping those likes, guys. Give me that leg to beat some sense into the stream. You know, I do love that brutal. Um, Amar, thanks for dropping that like. Welcome to the stream, everyone. David was saying cold makes stuff denser. Bricks are dense. Cold equal brick. All right, that's that's a fair explanation. I'll I'll accept that. I'll accept that, man. That's that's a that's a good good explanation. NASA says, "Where's Crum at? Haven't seen him in a long while. He always comes through at some point. He really does. He comes through at some point, but it just you never know when, really. Uh, let's let's do a little bit uh, a little bit of Cassie out here, maybe." A box gaming. What up, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Guana wa wa Wato. Thanks for the like. Thank you very much for joining the stream, everyone. Appreciate you guys coming through. Drop those likes if you haven't already. We're at 89 reactions on the chat. We might be able to hit a cool hundo before an hour. That'd be uh, pretty nice. 
My guy broke it down scientifically. Yeah, that's what I need. Give me them scientific breakdowns and I'll accept it. Box Gaming says Bia Sama. This is Khalil coming on the gaming account. Can you drop another like on the gaming account? Michael says uh, upper respiratory. Oh, not Ma Michael. Michaela says upper respiratory infection turned into COVID. Hope you're doing all right. Michaela Box Gaming. Thanks for dropping those likes, guys. We'll take that. Big punish! Kind of. Uh-oh. Alright. You know, we just gotta- we just gotta shoot the kneecaps. Enough shots to the kneecaps will give us what we need. Cap. We'll take that. Uh, Mitchell with the like, thank you. Okay. Imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I cannot be getting hit by these stray projectiles. Yeah, yeah, Victor, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, man. Final round, fight. Okay, what's this two-year streak of not having it? You know, I've actually never gotten COVID myself, to my knowledge, anyways. This guy does not jump. Like, does not really jump. Oh, shoot. Nice, I caught it twice. <laughs> Were you trying to rhyme? Was it was it bad the first worse the first or the second time? Alright, Derek. I'm about to fuck up this noob cybot. <clears throat> Thanks for joining the stream, everyone. Drop those likes, follows, and shares if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys all tuning in out here. Let's go with the let's go with the Buzz 2.0. I think we can do it. Felt worse when I had the flu, though. Honestly, says Box. My wife had COVID for a little bit, but I was fortunate enough not to catch it from her. Nasser with the noob Cybot sticker. This is not the time for that. He jumped that time. I swear that was like the only time he jumped in that match. Rudson, thanks for the like. Fuck. Oh, we'll take that. We will take that uh, gladly. Mm, 
Yeah. Nurse a ratchet, the Vora. Rudson, thanks for the like, man. Oh shit. Chill. Who is this guy? Who are you? Why are you giving me a hard time? Why is this man giving me a hard time? So Troy uh, with the follow, Effie uh, with the like, and Rudson with the like, thank you guys. Just mashing the fuck out of this shin. Oh my god. Hold up. Frederick! Thanks for dropping that like, man. Got me a sweating out here in combat league. Jake says, need advice. Which character can deal with Cabal? I can't win against this character. You know who beats Cabal? Cabal. Mirror the Ben. Trust me. Luciana, Jake, thanks for the likes. I actually don't know who beats Cabal, to be honest. I don't know who beats Cabal, but I will tell you, Cabal goes 5-5. Five, five. Cabal goes 5-5 five, five with the Cabal. Who is this guy? Who are you? Why are you giving me so much trouble? Why have I never seen your name before? And why is your record not even that good? I don't understand. I don't understand. Miguel says play with Katana. Nah, I'd rather not. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take that. Okay, we don't need to do nothing too crazy, all right? We don't have to be too wild. Just wild enough. Yeah, it's plus. All that shit, plus. Plus doesn't actually matter, but... Oh, that could've punched that. Are you fucking kidding me? This is so gross. Actually gross. Actually fucking gross. Yeah, you can chill with that shit. Gotta be you. You have got to be shitting me. Robert, Jake, and Own. Thanks for the likes, guys. Oh my god. Ah, I need to confirm that shit. Sayed with the like, thank you. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, no. 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 Okay, we got it. We have to spend it. We have to spend it. I don't think he's dead. Rain says counter him with your noob. Too late. We're in a final match situation out here. Although I would be down to play this guy more if he if he's down to, to rematch after this, not gonna lie. Shoot! 
that. Damn it. Leandro, thanks for the like. I need to get some bugs on this bitch. That's ass. That's ass. Ass. That's ass. Rematch me right now. Rematch me right a fucking now, bro. Uh, Lou Khan does well against Cabal, right? I don't know. Could be a 5 5. Rematch me right now! Rematch me right now. Okay. Thanks for joining the stream, by the way, everyone. Drop those likes if you haven't already. We're at 101 uh, reactions on the stream. Mr. I'm gonna fuck him up in the mirror right now. We're gonna fuck him up in the mirror right now. Arthur says, hear me out, Melina. Her rolling thunder anti-air is perfectly. Um, I don't know about that. Tails, thanks for the like. So Troy says, YT, YouTube? Um, right now, I'm not really recording this for YouTube, to be honest. I'm just playing. Okay. 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 I'm gonna show this man what's what. I'm I'm so annoyed that I lost though. Honestly, I'm annoyed. I did not want to lose that set. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Nice. Where are all these noob cybots coming from, man? Like for real, for real. Where are they coming from? Where are they all coming from? Final round. Fight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chaz has embraced the shadow. Noob is God. I don't know about all that. Jake says load of bugs could be the answer. Spam trips to your move until the cabal can't move or jump at all. Eh, easier said than done. Think your Kotal will beat him, says Box. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe my total will would beat him. Thunes with the light, thank you, Thunes. Where's that big boy at damage spawn? He's chilling on the roster. 
Thunes the burn narco. Thanks for the likes, guys. Welcome to the stream. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna prove a point out here. If we, if this, if this man plays me to ten, I'm gonna be, beat him. Okay, I'm gonna beat him. We have a point to prove now. He won the, the combat league set and he won a first to three. That's not okay. Thunes uh, with the read support out here. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, Johnny, uh, thanks for dropping those likes, guys. Uh, I need to quick, quickly react with that. Could have got a punish. It's like negative 12 on flawless block, I think. Oh, dude, I was <clears throat> I was gonna do some crazy shit. Manual, Johnny, fearless. Thanks for like. Oh, this man got some opti optis. Okay, all right. This guy's a he's a, he's a legitimate a legitimate noob. He's a legitimate noob. I respect it. I respect it. He has the optis. He has the noob. He has he has things. He has things. All right. He has the anti airs too. Okay. How you doing, fearless? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Billy says, thoughts on Pikmin 3 Deluxe again after some time? Loki sucks that people left uh, after some time, but I totally understand. It'll be like that when people aren't on the, their, their top series. Yeah, you know, like, not everyone is, is too interested in, in the Pikmin. But, like, I, I don't think my opinion really changed from when I initially played it. Like, I had some fun with it, but it's not, like, my cup of tea, per se, for a game that I would be playing all the time. Oh my god. Yeah. Now he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna try to steal my tech now. Cause that's some good tech. I call that the honeybee special. Back one anti-air into sip snag. The invisible spawn KB video you posted was gas. I'ma take that as a compliment. Thank you. Oh, fuck. It was pretty sick, though, wasn't it? Pretty, pretty gas. What other slang is there that I need to learn? Pretty gas. Nice. Oh, my God. No. No, bro. Get out of here. Miguel, thanks for the like. Back to false box negative 14 even. Shoot. So yeah, you gotta 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 be ready to punish those, but it happens so quick, you know? And he says who won the train last night, passed out. You were going crazy in that first set. Yeah, and then I got fucked up in the second one. It was sad. Gas, man. That's the fuel for the fire. Spicy. Dope. Thank you, Tristan, for the uh, synonyms. It's a compliment. Yeah, you know, I assumed it's a compliment. I just... I'm not, I'm not super familiar with the lingo. I'm old. Now. <laughs> Tucker with a like, thank you, Tucker. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Appreciate the likes out here, Tucker, Miguel. Drop those likes if you haven't already. I'm trying to prove a point, but right now I'm kind of uh, kind of getting got. Not gonna lie, I'm down two to four. In who knows what this could go to. Ah! Excuse me. 
Or Ruben with the light. Thank you, Ruben. He's got the, he's got the Octis out here, too, man. Hold that. And that. And that. I don't know. Get the fuck out of here. No! That didn't work! That didn't work! Dude, I'm actually... so. Dude, how did that not work? Ruben, Chris, thanks for the likes, guys. That's ass. That's actually ass. I've never done it before, but it looked like it should have worked. Oh, my God. B, will you play God of War Ragnarok, says Leandro. I do plan on it, yeah. Nice. Shit like that's why I move mid-tier. Like, dude, you think that would work? Damn, damn, damn! He's, he's good with the anti-airs, man. Fuck. Uh, Matthew with a follow. Andreas, a quasi. Chris, thanks for the likes, guys. Too much shit just doesn't work. You're focused on chat, respect it. I wouldn't take the set serious. Thanks for engaging, says Keith. Hey, I, I, I always want to engage, man. I'm happy to speak to the chat. All right, we're gonna go Kotal. We're gonna go Kotal. This guy's noob is good. Dude, dude, David, have you played this man before? Are you familiar with him? Matthew with the follow, Andreas, a quasi. Thanks for dropping those likes, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This guy's, this guy's noob's good, though. We're gonna get him, though. We're gonna get him. I don't remember playing him, but he's playing good. So Troy says Devora versus Noob. Nizzy with the like. If my Kotal gets mopped like two games, I'll go to Devora. Billy says streams are addicted, man. Damn, I need to eat. You can multitask. His Noob skin is badass. That one? Is that badass? Has a definition of badass. Depreciate it. Victor, thanks for the likes. Hold that. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, give me that 29%. Okay. Okay, chill. We're still gonna grab him. And then we're gonna do a normal thing, and we're gonna dash up and grab him again. That's what we do sometimes. It works sometimes. No! No! That was so optimal! Matthew, Vinny, uh, Trigger J, uh, Victor, thanks for just dropping those nice guys. No way, no way. No way, no way! Give me this 39, bro. You gotta be shitting me. Dude! Who is this? Who are you? Who are you, dude? Who the fuck are you? Damn it. Anakin, thanks for the like. Appreciate it. 
Yo, is, some, is it, who is this man? Who is this man? Derek507? What up, Anakin? Welcome to the stream. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You bitch. He tried. Keith, Rubino, Anakin, thanks for the likes, guys. What? No, I was blocking. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead! Keith Leonardo, thanks for the likes, guys. Tucker says it's not me, I promise. I thought it was you, Tucker. Don't be lying to me out here, man. I'm fucking dead, bro. Okay, 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 guys. We're gonna we're gonna go Devora after this. Round two. Fight. Yeah, I guess wrong. We committed to that like an idiot. Hold up. Final round. Fight. Take that. Ooh! 39%? I don't know why that KB did so much, but we'll take it. We can do this, man. We can do this. Roosevelt, thanks for the like. We are we are down six to three. Okay, we're got we're down six to three against this noob cybot that I have no idea who he is. I ain't never played this man in my life, to my knowledge. Anyways, but we're down we're down six to three. But we're gonna bring it back. We're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring it back. And I hope you guys in the chat believe in my ability to do so. Cause I swear to you, I swear to you, we're gonna bring this shit back. If you if he sticks around long enough, we're bringing this shit back. Oh. Nice, you bitch. Oh my god. Thank 
that. Alright, one more touch. He fucking committed to that in that situation? Let's go. I can't believe he committed to a back one, one plus three in the corner in that situation. Man is a crazy dude. Sergio dropping that like out here. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. We're bringing it back, guys. We're bringing it back. Round one. Fight. Flavio with like, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that one. Five hundo. Ten percent overkill, but it's okay. Are you rematching a KL dude? What's going on here? Yeah, uh, he beat me in combat league two one. And then I friendly rematched, and he did too. And now I have a point to prove. <laughs> I, I, he beat me in combat league 2-1 against my Cassie, and then my Buzz Devora, Buzz 2.0 Devora. And then I went to Noob, and I think I won one, and then he won like two, and then I switched to Kotal. Shit. God, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back, man. Six to five, six to five. That one is one of those that could have gone either way matches, but I'm happy it went in my favor type of shit, you know? It was one of those. It was one of those. Imagine it being 2022, my wife won't make me a hot pocket and rub my back. Damn, that's too bad. Pretty sure my wife would do that if I asked her.
Yeah, yo, Michael in the chat. Ostrich. Moaz, thanks for dropping that a like. He's not as sweaty as that Ken Killer dude, says Matt. I don't know, man. He's This guy's actually really good in other ways. I think if I ran a, a first attempt with Ken Killer, it would be a lot of the same. Told you Kotal would beat him, says Vox, Khalil. You know, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good right now. Nice little twenty percent. Fuck. Drops all his one one three back one one threes. I smoke him. This is key. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shoot. All right. Fuck that. No! How? No! We were gonna... We were gonna... We were gonna bring that one back. I'm actually sad about that one. got me we were just about to take the lead in this set it's okay seven six seven six with like and share thank you fuck fuck Nice. 
Thank God. Wenderson with the like. Thank you, Wenderson. Caesar, thanks for the like. Man, just back one's your tiger. That's just wrong. I do that to uh to Kotals all the time. It's it's the tech with noob. Yeah. Fuck. Take that. Oh my god. Carvo with the follow, Caesar and Carvo with the likes. Thanks, guys. No! I had him! I had him. I literally had him right there, man. Oh my god. Fuck that. Fuck that. Alright. The war time. The war time. Hold up. I think Buzz 2.0 does better though than um than teleport. Damo, thanks for the like. Actually, let's go. Let's go teleport. Uh, on with the share, Justin, that Bayo. Thanks for dropping those likes on with the like as well. I appreciate it, guys. Yep. Nick with the like. Thank you, Nick. All right, we're going to have to just outplay the fuck out of this guy and get four wins. That's what we're going to do. You got to be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. What is this? What is this? Round two. Fight. Bayo dropping 50 Twinkies in the chat. Thank you, Bayo. Fuck. You could have got more. Nice. Andrew would like, thank you, Andrew. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. You know, we do that shit. We do that shit out here. Just waiting for every jump, says Keith. He is. He's playing it good, though. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just godlike. Galini, thanks for the like. Yeah, I knew that would happen. All part of the plan.
I was about to say, if he blocks this right now, I'm gonna be so tight. If he blocked that, I would have been so tight. Galeni, uh, Andrew, thanks for dropping those likes, guys. Isn't that this, that new Tekken game, looks almost as good as Apex? You all right there, Tucker? Damn it. He wasn't supposed to say sandblock in there. We'll take that. throw a slide out. Fuck. Oh! I did not want that. What the fuck? That's ass. The fuck? Final round. Fight. No way. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Alright, I think he's dead. All right, we're tied. We're tied. This man has me sweating today, man. This man has me sweating today. I'm trying to win this first to 10. I'm trying to show him I'm better, but he's honestly good. He's honestly good. Uh, Eslam with the like, thank you. All right, I'm trying to dash up, grab me. Another first to two, just how it started. Somewhat, somewhat poetic. Except this time, I'm starting with the main instead of uh, instead of the Cassie Cage. That's the main difference here. Round two. Fight. Damn it. Interesting option. Tom with the like and share. Curry with the like. It might have been an input error on his part. Damn, okay. Ooh. I think he was trying to do that preemptively. I have him scared. He's like, he's about to lose his, uh, his lead over here.
All right. Give me one more dub, man. What up, Michaela? Says I'm back. Welcome back, Michaela. Says nobody miss you. I miss you. Don't feel that way, Michaela. I miss you. Thanks for joining, everyone. Appreciate you guys all tuning in. We are trying to win this first to ten against this man. This is the first time I've been up the whole set. Rigo, Tom, Curry. Thanks for the likes, guys. Uh, I thought I ducked. Yep. Yep. Okay. James and Rigo, thanks for the likes, guys. No. Yes! Yes! A perfectly timed jump in, bro. Adam says, B, like to make you think you're gonna win and bam, get erect. Yeah, that's, that's always my strat. I don't think this guy ever tries a flawless block. I'll take that. Hold up. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is my prank. Andrew, thanks for the likes, guys. GG's. GG's. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Ox Gaming. What up, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna have to tell that man. GG's. All right, let me quickly, quickly tune in to this uh, Rumbleverse update stream happening. What up, Alex? How you doing, man? He says, put those string beam biceps away. Excuse me? This man, Keith, unless you're like some fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger shit. We're, we're making gains out here, all right? We're making gains. Um, anyways, I'm going to put it to this, to this uh, restream. Hold up. They're going over some new shit in uh, Rumbleverse. And in that case, you can let go of all directions and it will go the way the camera's facing. So I can just aim the camera. So you can swing off poles? I miss a little bit. Matt says, did you beat him? Yeah, I got him 10 to 8. Um, yeah, so I, I think uh, that's the horizontal swing. There's also a vertical swing. Let's see if we can bounce up to the top of one of these poles. Bro. So, uh, look, there's the uh, low key key in the distance. All right, well, that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, guys, I sent the message, um, uh, I did sent him a message saying GG's, dude, he said GG's, I'm Kim Ken Killer in another account. So someone in the chat was saying, oh, this guy is as good as uh, Ken Killer. Well, he actually is just as good as Ken Killer. There's a bug currently where after the air dodge where you're falling, you will be able to grab a wall but not a pole. We will get that fixed for you as well uh, in the next content update. So that's pole swinging. And you've probably noticed there's Grapital City. There's Low Key Key. 
right there. I'm gonna open the map for you real quick. That's kind of cool. The highway like connects the uh, the two the two places now. Uh, it's about two thirds the size of Grapital City. It's got a lot of playable water space, so it's even quite a bit bigger than it seems, and has a lot of really cool, uh, unique feeling areas to visit. So. Uh, our next Thanks for joining the stream, by the way, everyone. Drop those likes if you haven't already. I appreciate Absolutely. you guys coming through. I'm just uh, checking a little bit of this update of um, the new season of Rumbleverse starting tomorrow. Yeah, so this is Loki Key, where it's off season forever. Um, give a little lore breakdown. Carlone, uh, Pat, thanks for the likes, guys. You said he's good as King Killer in different ways. Bad read of a good set. Yeah, I, I, I'm uh, I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna have to hold that one, David. But at least I beat him. At least I beat him. Man's good. Michaela says, "Hate this cold weather." Well, it's it's gonna get colder. It's only gonna get colder. Question from Reddit. Thanks to Birdlad69. Are we gonna have to get lucky to be able to play in the new area? We're hoping that the rings pull to it. And will we get a brief period where it's always over there to explore everything? It's a great question. You will uh, get to play over here quite a lot. So at least for the first uh, month or so of season two, 80% of the rings are going to be on the low-key key side. 80%? Uh, some of them will cross over both sides and force you to cross this river. That That's kind of cool. By the arrival of low-key key during a match, which is very precarious. 20% uh, of the rings will be on Grapital City side, and every single one of those uh, rings is brand new so those are all brand new final ring locations in the grapple mm -hmm. and then over the course of the season andy drop in a like and them shares thank you andy robbie and thanks for the follow out here i appreciate that on the grapple side so let's how you doing andy yeah all right so Ox says 86 degrees where i'm at never cold very dangerous uh, where's that that must be nice in there too it's getting pretty darn cold where i am you can see you need to kind of find a bridge to cross there's one up here that i just crossed as well uh, and there's quite a few springs you can use to cross, or you'll have to platform across these boats. Yes, Season two is. approaching, says Andy. Tomorrow, man. <laughs> Robbie, thanks for the like and follow. Uh, there's a spring down that way as well that'll get you across. And uh, as you as you finish crossing the bridge here, you kind of arrive at the welcome center, which I was showing you a moment ago. Jericho's end of the road rentals. This is where uh, people visiting the island will rent their little golf carts and, and get around this place. Not really a lot of cars here. But what I am standing on right now is actually quite a tall parking garage, which is a pretty cool place to do some early looting because uh, it has quite a few levels to it and, and a lot of loot will fall here. So from there, I want to move south into our And you just turn them up a little this more? Rivera Botanica. Mm -hmm. so I'll kind of go past this awesome crap. Let me know if that's, that if, if that's good. Volcano. Who knows what's in there? Deep Very South suspicious. Texas. This area is gorgeous. Didn't you guys get like yeah, some snow place. just recently, like a it year is. or so ago, and you guys all put it could put all of Texas in like really emergency status because yeah, pipes were freezing and bursting and all that craziness going on? Uh, Fernando, thanks for the like. See through the bottom of. Uh, there's some really interesting. Matt says should, should host a noob cough again, featuring you, uh, Zollers, me, and me. First one to get, to get 10 dubs is officially best noob of, of the hive. So officially, I'm officially, man. Interesting. Area, uh, of the new island. Interesting. Um, and you should watch out for chairs like these because they are bouncy, and you can walk straight onto them and bounce, which is pretty, pretty chaotic. Uh, Power grid went bounce, down. Yeah, that's crazy. Y'all are not prepared for snow. So moving on. We get to the Salt Street. Oh, that was two years ago now? This is, uh, I mean, water everywhere, right? <laughs> uh, we got some more poles over here that you can swing on, and these actually uh, let you do a vertical or a horizontal swing as well, which is Ooh. awesome. And uh, lots of playable boats. collision. You, you can trust me. And uh, I'm going to show you why you might want to come here. So first of all, we got Mr. Sweetie's ice cream. This thing is terrifying. It's got the darkness inside the mouth. Uh, but as you approach, that will fade, and you'll be able to go inside. You can see there's water on every side. There's a lot place. of water. Yeah, it is a lot of water. Mr. Sweeties, we got three vending machines. We got energy. We got magazine, and we got weapons. That's nice. That's a nice start. But if you want a great start, and you're really brave, you're gonna want to drop here, because what you're gonna find at the top is three Musels vending machines, oh. and a full super meter if you're uncontested. Yeah. And you're gonna find nine protein pod yeah right here to get your game started just right yeah so if you're willing to come up here oh my uh, god all right is, andy that's where we're dropping be off to the best possible that's spot. where we're dropping so, andy Akil, thanks for the like climb all the way to the top top some good loot will drop up here too on the cookies 
you get a really nice view from up here too. There's our hotel and resort, the off season and the uh, pool area behind there. We're gonna go there next and you can see the monorail cutting up through the middle and the lava dome. You can kind of see where we've come from so far. And uh, that's as long with an $80 down. pot, everyone puts up 20. Let's see if I can. Man, this man really wants to uh, spice up some noob cybot, I see. I, I missed, but that's gonna be a lot of noob though. 10 down. wins. As long as you don't fall in 10 down. wins. I nailed it. Well, I guess it, in a cost. Run, so yeah, we could that. potentially do that. All right, so we're moving over here. And he says, hell no, not that much of a risk taker. Oh, awesome. you don't, oh, damn. And he already, already uh, ducking me. We had one good, we had a good, uh, a good night of gaming yesterday. And now you don't want to, you don't want to play Roboverse with me no more. We got this awesome lazy river. We have quite a few pools, lots of uh, bouncy objects. This duck makes a great noise when you bounce on. There's even a, a tunnel through the lazy river. And if you pop up top here, there's actually a grease pool, so you can cover yourself in oil oh. and throw yourself into a frying pan if you want to get a nice tan. And uh, just ignore the human bones in there. I'm sure nothing nefarious is going on at all. What? I'm totally fine. So now I'm going to move underneath the Off Seasons Resort. This area is very tall, has a lot of verticality to it, so I'm going to start platforming up to the top from the inside. And as you make it to the middle, you have this awesome scaffolding area that has a lot of see-through floors as well. You can make it up to the uh, diving board if you want to pester the people who are in the pool below you. Um, and I'm going to keep heading up to the monorail station here. Dude, this, 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 is, this game, like, they can do a lot with this game, man. I really hope the developers continue to support this game for, for a long time. Zollers will clap me. He filed me earlier, but we can try. I hit the wrong button. Zollers is pretty sweaty, oh, man. He's pretty sweaty. Oh, sure Fanda, thanks for the like. So we'll make our way across. And we're up at the top, finally. We can see uh, how high up we've actually gone. Pretty far. You can see the Salt Street Marina again. And if you look behind the resort, you're going to see the Lava Dome. And this is actually how... Dude, this place is gets massive. Dome, up top, and then they can just leave through the back and come straight to the lava dome. Saying, bro, I'm just saying that's I'm bus gonna be so hectic. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just busting your balls, thing. Andy. Uh, I'm being stupid. Fanda, thanks for the like. Which is awesome. I just like that a lot. So I wanted to show you that. New Island is looking uh, a fire. So to the yeah, front, no, it's looking pretty interesting. This volcano is not active, but it is still kind of warm. So you can see it's created a hot spring. And if you notice underneath my health bar, I've gotten a buff just for walking into this hot spring. I get a stamina buff that lasts 30 seconds after I leave it. And while I'm in it, I have a permanent stamina buff. Yeah. So if you ever have a final ring here, you're going to have a lot of stamina fighting in that water. Oh, and okay. change that Interesting. A quick question, Adam. Sure. If I jump right back in, does it immediately refresh? Or is there a cooldown on that? Yep. Immediately refresh. Ooh, nice. Got my stamina back. I'm infinite now, but <laughs> I'm still <gonna laughs> cheat it. Um, all right. So we got the lava dome. We're going to head straight into the front door. This area is by far the biggest point of interest we've ever built for the game. And it is a huge interior. It's just, just amazing. Uh, absolutely enormous. Dude, so let's clarify, up clarify those games. You, not the game. Uh, there's several levels of action. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So at the bottom, you can see the lava is hardened and not dangerous to you. Maybe someday it will be. Who can say? The future is unpredictable. Uh, but there's a lot of obstacles in here to climb around uh, on and find lots of little platforming paths up. Nice platform in the middle if you want to have some duels in playground mode. This is a great place to have a duel because it's got some pretty defined edges to it. So if you're kind of sick of duels in the gazebo gone, you can try this spot. Uh, I'm going to work my way up a little higher here. Do some pole swinging. Whoa, I messed it up. Of course I did. Okay. Taking a shortcut. Sorry. <laughs> Boo! There we go. Messed up my pole swings. But I made it to the top. This is the uh, upper level. Did they There's explain the here, health uh, region so vendors, after every three perks? Um, I, I missed out on a little bit of the beginning of the stream, but uh, can also go since I've been here, they since haven't said anything. In, most people will probably arrive up here first. I don't know why I came out of retirement for MK. Romverse making me want to keep grinding. Dude, this game is so sick. I'm glad you got into it, Andy. So uh, look forward to the Lava Dome and, uh, you know, got pretty good views of the whole island from up here but a lot of it is out of out of elbow drop range so you'll have to be a little bit what if you get up here with the key bat the elbow drop from and then you get all the way fly all the way down there and then so elbow we'll pop drop. down the back we got the ticket booth back here and we have the monorail station where people would be dropped off we're going to go ahead and leap all the way down 
seems like a sticky situation where if there's like a final ring along the, the mountain of the lava dome, it might be tough to get back up. Yeah, yeah. A lot of ring outs happen there for disqualification. People get thrown off and they can't make it back up. But there are a lot of springs and ledges. So uh, if you're good and you know the area, you'll find your way back up pretty fast. Uh, that's a good note, Keenan. Yeah, so, All right, so positioning we've made it to... would be key. Yeah, absolutely. We've made it to the back here. Uh, this area is called Tentacle Cove. It's kind of the old docks area. It's uh, a little bit run down. There's a, some shipwrecks here to play on. A lot of uh, garbage <laughs> on the ground. And uh, it's not in the best shape. But it has a lot of playable water, which is the first spot we're going to show you that. This water uh, is dangerous past the buoys. So you can see a pretty steep drop off. Just don't go past the buoys. Uh, if somebody is trying to throw you out, maybe the buoy will save your life and you'll get lucky. Um, but keep that in mind that you know most of this water is actually playable space. So we'll kind of move through the old docks. This is my second favorite new area. I really like it here. It doesn't have a ton of verticality, but it has all of these bridges that have, you know, totally empty space underneath for you to do really interesting movement patterns to lose people or approach people. Uh, I really enjoy fighting over here. So this quickly became one of my favorite areas for a final ring. It does have this crane as well. If you're close to that, you might have a little bit of heights here. I'll jump up and uh, check that out. So it's, it's a pretty nice view from up here as well. You can see this ship actually sticks out past the buoy line. So if you're coming out here, you want to be really careful. And if you're really, really brave, maybe you'll do a little meditating in a spot like this and hope nobody throws something at you <laughs> so then you'll be dead so we'll jump back in bounds yeah, here and okay. continue our way down the beach to the beach town called the breaks it's another mysterious door i wonder what that's about we'll probably never know let's move on <laughs> so, so right breaks, now he's uh, really just showing off the whole place. island Beautiful houses of season uh, two uh, right now a place where people live on the beach forever and vacation forever and uh, you can go under these houses there's a lot of kind of fences that you can see through uh, but not fight through you can come up to the top pull swing on some of these guys hey dondre really, really dropping a like thank you man as well and lots of open beach uh, with lots of really cool rocky structures uh final really try to throw that in there and no one does well. hell to do that so to meditate on the buoy things. Um, and you can see I there's might. a rocky structure over here that's also out past the buoys that uh, is pretty dangerous don't say so i won't there you're gonna be having some excitement for sure there's keenan hello uh, and then the last area I want to show you, but certainly not the least, is our sea caves area called Enigma Gardens. Mm. It's a beautiful cave with cool refractions on the ceilings. There's a lot of artifacts here, a lot of Rumble history, Rumble verse history. I just saw it. Billy says anything I missed. So right now we're just tuning into some Rumble verse so we'll uh, update here. stuff happening. Yeah. The devs are currently live streaming a uh, official altar, an update for season two of Rumble verse. There we go. We've Jeez, got construction the outside my house crazy. I have to take like three that, detours to get to my house. Seconds Shoot. Of, uh, strength. I'm gonna head straight into the front entrance to check that check that out. Excuse me. You can see there's a lot going on in here. Uh, they appear to be excavating this place. So Rumble scholars and archaeologists are trying to learn more about the past. You got this awesome big statue dude getting poured water from these cherubs. There's a lot of caves in here too to explore. There's one back here. There's a couple on the side over here you can go down. Mm. Uh, but the bottom of this area is... Dude, this place is just massive. Just as interesting as the top. The top like, they the really lines. put a whole extra mass that you actually in can't this, climb. You can't climb this place. at all. Oh, okay. uh, but you can see through them really well, so they make for some interesting gameplay. Uh, you can climb the leafy parts at the top, so getting up here can create an advantage, and it can be hard to follow you up here depending on, on the routes you take. And that'll lead you right up to the Seahorn. I might as well go up there and give that a toot real quick for posterity's sake before we end the uh, tour of the new space. Yes. And if you blow this, people are going to hear it, and they're going to know you're up here. I hear that awakens um, get that buff for 60 seconds of strength. the serpent, the world serpent. Yeah. If you, if made you it blow all that around, You can see in the distance there, there's the parking center and the welcome center and the bridge that connects it all. And there's all of Grapital City. So it's all just one space that's gotten bigger. And uh, we're excited for you guys to get on here and experience all the new types of gameplay that... Loki Key has to offer. All right. So Keenan should be at the equip up zone over here waiting for me. Is that right? Correct. And cool. um, just as a, a friendly reminder, too, you may have seen some special moves, weapons, and items in the trailer that are not going to be introduced today. Throughout Season 2, we will have additional releases that include those things and some new perks. Today, we'll only be going over the stuff that's coming out tomorrow. 
Yes, absolutely. Uh, can we cut away from me for a second? I need to change one of my settings. I want to get rid of my infinite stamina real quick. Thank you. So you can key back from low key key to Grapple City. Right. Technically, so yeah, but it does it does require stamina right, to fly, so all you wouldn't really be able to go that far. Two. First up, let's talk about the Rush family. Bull Rush. This is the, some of the new the uh, attacks that they're bringing. Yeah, so into this the game. comes in common, rare, and epic. It's a traversal move that lets you plow Behemoth through crowds rush? like a wild animal. And if you hold the button, you'll keep on running until you run out of stamina, and at, Friendly added bonus, it runs faster than dashing repeatedly. Yeah, and you can steer during this as well. Um, the more rare version has a wider kind of AoE zone and uh, moves quite a bit faster as well. Uh, Keenan and I are going to do a little foot race for you just to kind of show you that it can keep up with or beat a dash. Uh, we'll, we'll race to those rocks over there. You ready, Keenan? Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, we're going to different rocks. This is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, the, the ones that I'm facing. Hold on, let me get my stand. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, so you can see I'm getting ahead of Keenan a little bit now, and then I'm gonna hit the wall quite a bit before him and fall on my ass. But uh, pretty fun move to use. If you use the air version, it does very similar to the ground version. It just kind of falls and starts running. Um, so it, it's a little awkward to use in the air, but if you're just trying to plow through a crowd, Keenan, if you want to get next to this bot for me real quick, um, you know, so people are fighting, you can just kind of charge through and see who you hit. Pretty useful. This is a power move. It's going to beat weapons mm. uh, like you would expect, but it also means you cannot bail out of this. Because they get blocked. you hit something. So you're kind of committed to this until you hit. Uh, and it can be pretty awkward to punish as well because Keenan, if you block this for me, real another quick, high priority. See, yeah, I keep yeah, going. that's gonna be great for so getting the into like the best groups. way I can give you to punish Uppercut this. Uppercut was getting boring. Is yeah, to try to dash it's nice to have another uh, power attack. Back. So Keenan, let's try that real quick over here. I'm gonna make you block this. You can dash backwards and try to drop kick me. Oh, Ooh. almost got me. Ready? Just, how how are you supposed to punish that shit? Get the idea. How are you supposed to punish yeah, that uh, shit? You, you equip one real quick and I'll do it. Got one. You got one? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. So just dash back at them and, and drop kick, just like that. Okay. That's going to be your best bet. Okay. For a quick punish if people are pestering you with this. You can get some better stuff once you uh, figure it out, but it's pretty good. All right. So, so block and then dash back and punish. Family. Keenan, what are these all about? Jagged yeah, edge. So these also edge. come in common, rare, and epic variety. It's a vicious attack that lets you spend stamina to carry an opponent around. Uh, You're going to tap the attack button again to slam the opponent into the ground or toss them off a ledge after you already uh, apply the grab. Um, and this is great for team combos. Absolutely. So I'm going to start with the cutting edge, which is the green variety, the common one. And uh, we'll see how far I can carry Keenan. Not very far of stamina very fast so you're going to want to invest in legs if you uh you know want to take people far with that but if you get the more rare version the jagged edge let's see how far i can take Keenan this time that's quite a bit farther and that's gonna i wonder how useful that's gonna be because the drain is a lot slower so that's how the math kind of works out if you press the button early again you can kind of slam them right away and save that stamina so if you just want to get the quick slam and get that 140 damage real quick just press the button really fast uh, the bounce on that's excellent for team combos. So Keenan will come over here. I'll kind of bounce this bot to him. I can be like, okay, Keenan, I'll loop. And it's pretty easy to score a little combo off that. We'll try one more time. I'll get it this time. Yes, we will. There we go. Boom. Cool. Um, a unique thing about the, the edge family is how they behave in the air. If you do the air edge, it's going to automatically bounce them. You do not get to carry them at all. So you, Master, you have we're talking about how cold it is. The San Tim was in Canada, probably fucking powerless. Is this That's all? A, yeah, was I don't know about all that, but I am more used better. to the cold. I still fucking hate it, though. Honestly, I'm I'm really not a fan of the cold. To, uh, our new weapons. I put gloves on pretty pretty oil. early. All right, the oil drum. Okay, is I see. Not if you don't have a good timing, you'll be annoyed easily. This move looks like I used some combo video to see how it actually works. Yeah, for that uh. Pretty good stamina thing. damage with that. You can like throw people off the sides uh, and stuff. Like that can be cool and all. So won't see a stamina break there, but they're they do pretty heavy stamina damage. What is next? Uh, next up we have the potted plant throwables. 
Yeah, so these are also kind of set dressing you'll find around the world. And these are just throwable. There's really nothing else to do with them. But they're nice pocket stuffers. They make a wonderful ceramic noise when they break on people's faces. And I find them to be very satisfying. So uh, you'll find these all around the world to set dressing. And you can pick them up and chuck them at people. And quick question with this how they work. About them. Grab some to break. Them uh, uh, later, Hive. All right, later, David. Yeah, Thank you very much for joining, man. Appreciate you, uh, you coming through, tap, as always, dude. The X button, and it'll, it'll throw it using the same action as the quick throw that you would normally do with uh, right Brandon, now. Brandon, thanks for dropping that like out here. Yeah. Uh, now we got a quick question from Twitter, from Creepy93. How many different kinds of chanclas are in Season 2? Uh, they mentioned they three. wanted to carry all of them. <laughs> there are three. Uh, we got the uh, chancleta, we got the firm chancleta, and we got the solid chancleta. And these have strong Slippers. tracking and are very disrespectful. So strong tracking, I think you all know, means that if this targets somebody, it's going to curve <laughs> abnormally strongly and uh -huh. follow them around corners. Um, and that's just how they are. But what does disrespectful mean? Well, the vicious attack is just a quick knockdown, so we'll go ahead and get Keenan with that. Nothing special there, not huge damage, but the basic attack is actually where this one shines. The damage is very bad, but it staggers quite a long time. A long stagger. So if we were to get a solid Chancletta here, we could be very disrespectful. And hit him with that three times into a combo if we wanted. <sighs> um, I don't personally recommend pocketing two of these just to be that disrespectful, but you may find uh, that it is good content to be this disrespectful. <laughs> And the combo will drop after that if you do one more. Oh, will it? The combo. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sandals are, are are very disrespectful. And that's how what up, Odane? How you doing, man? Thanks for dropping that like, dude. Maybe grab it to uh, make a nice little setup for your for a friend and duos. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Next, Next up, up they got, we got the starfish family of weapons, which also right. come in a common, rare, and epic variety. Yeah, the starfish. Half Slapping starfish slippers, very starfish. disrespectful. These are amazing. <laughs> They are a traversal focused weapon. And I'll show you what that means. You guys you guys know the key bat. You love the key bat. This has a traversal ability as well, but this is not a traversal focused weapon. This is a weapon that is, you know, lots of combat going on. But what's really special about the Starfish is that its uh, strike move turns you into a ball that you can steer and does the same thing in the air. And the vicious move does kind of a rainbow arch ball that you can also uh, steer a little bit. And what's cool about those is you can actually grab walls out of them. So something like this becomes possible. If you can do the vicious one towards a wall and grab it, that means you could also wall jump off the wall and then rainbow back to it and grab it. So you can get some really interesting movement going just by having one of these in your pocket. Okay. If Keenan were chasing me and I had one of these and I pulled it out, he's not catching me. It's just I'm going to be able to do things he can't do. And vice versa. If I'm chasing him and he doesn't have one of these and I pull this out just to use it for the movement, I'll probably be able to catch him because I will be able to do... Uh, very fast, interesting movement he is not able to access. So uh, the Starfish, I try to always keep one in my pocket in Season 2 if I can find one, because the movement options you get are so incredible. Interesting. On the combat side... Interesting, cool. interesting. The vicious attack that Keenan just hit me with will just knock you down and break the Starfish, and the Starfish will dig into the ground and go home. Ah! Oh. Uh, if you hit the basic attack, it's just going to knock them down. Whoops, sorry. It's just going to knock them over. What's interesting about that one is if he blocks, I'm going to bounce back into the air. And if I press attack again, it will automatically throw the starfish like a windmill shuriken and uh, make him block that. That's pretty cool. Um, More it's really dangerous. Tools. I'm sure some yeah. of you saw on the IGN clip with the poison one. Now, the poison one Have doesn't the air, poison for the light. hit. It only poisons when you throw it. But it does stagger pretty gratuitously. So you can hit with that a couple times in a row and then finish with the throw, get that stamina break. You know, combo, combo, combo. Uh, so those are pretty dangerous ones to use as a weapon. But generally, the lower two, I think I favor much more for traversal than to, to use as a weapon. Cool. Thanks. And then next up, uh, last weapon that we're introducing, we are adding buckets, which are our new throwables. Buckets. Yeah, this is Bucket Junior, my favorite of the buckets. Uh, as a throwable and an item container. You just meant to throw more these. More OTG uh, opportunities as well? Mean? It means that every time... Would it be? Breaks, every time there will be something inside. Oh. So that time we got a... Uh, energy drink this time we got oh. a green pod you can get all kinds of stuff from these uh, hey we got a half chicken that time wow uh, be really useful just to smash these on people's heads or on walls to see what comes out but then you're can giving a bucket them appear from inside so. another bucket i don't know <laughs> the scientists are still trying to figure that out can a bucket appear from a bucket that'd be interesting cool. uh and that concludes our new weapons
A quick question: If I wanted to just not throw it at someone, if no one's nearby, can I throw it at the wall and then it'll yes. splat open. Yeah, it'll lose one durability on each hit. So I just uh, got a broken golf club out of mine. Cool, cool. All right, next up, uh, a new consumable. Uh, we've added the Machos Nachos uh, consumable to Rumbleverse. Yeah, I only get one chance to show you this because these aren't going to respawn due to a bug. But uh, <laughs> the Machos Nachos are really interesting. They have six charges instead of uh, you know two charges on the big chicken. So the big chicken, 300 health per bite. That's going to be 600 health. The Machos Nachos, 100 health per bite. Six bites, also 600 health. So these are equal. These are equivalent. Makes sense. Uh, difference is, but Machos Nachos, machos, I think, nachos, is better you only, because you, you only eat get, it quicker. Uh, 100 per bite, but the bites are much faster, and that actually makes them a lot better for sharing. So, uh, Keenan, you want to pick up the small chicken here, and then we'll just eat at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm already done. And he's still finishing. So I can actually fit two eats in the time it takes him to get one. But now that I've eaten twice uh, and I have four charges left, I could put that on the ground and have my teammate take it. Uh, so these are really excellent for sharing or topping off the health bar. Uh, and, and I really like them a lot. Uh, where the big chicken is going to shine is if you, you know, are hungry, you have low health, and you get that hungry bonus where you get 100 and you get you get 50% extra on your next bite. The chicken is going to shine there when, when you get that. Makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of the nachos. I Makes them out. sense. Uh, I knew they was going to bring the nachos. Yeah, and then the last thing we want to talk about is our new Dude, perk. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty excited for the season uh, two, man. In this run, so I can't show it to you. A lot of stuff coming in this. Uh, that we're launching tomorrow is called in Insatiable. This new season. I saw some of you guessed the name of this correctly based on the icon alone, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, was that? When you are insatiable, you will always be hungry. So that oh. little buff you get when you are at the bottom of your health bar, oh. uh, where your next food does 50% more, you get that permanently. Oh, so that's cool. All the time. Really, really Do cool. Do you get food. nacho uh, you know, sweats? You maybe carry a little bit more food than no, you No, I actually or, rarely eat nachos. Uh, but my wife had actually made some really good nachos before. Yeah. So, uh, Tristan says new season yeah, looks lit. You gonna play it, man? Show you before we do some slides and jump into balance changes is the pinging system. That's oh, balance crazy. changes. I want to so see when I go into oh. pinging mo uh, mode, the camera actually moves out of my way now so I can see what I'm aiming at. And uh, when I ping, it looks much nicer. Uh, and if it goes off screen, you can still see it. And it's on the mini map and everything, too. And if it goes off the mini map, you can see it as well. Okay. So the, the previous version of pinging was uh, something we built very, very quickly just to try and have something in the game before launch. But we actually had time to greatly improve uh, that for this release. Do you get Nacho really Sweat? The game? Not models, you? Uh, when you're playing team modes. You're losing me. You're losing me, Andy. You're losing me. Breakdown. Yeah. Uh, now on to some miscellaneous updates. Uh, we're going to sw sw switch to some slides. Cool. So first up, uh, we've made some big improvements um, to the climbing system. You should drop off walls unexpectedly even less now. Uh, shout out to everyone that you know shared clips or uh, shared pictures of spots where you were maybe falling off. It helps out a yeah. lot. Thank you. I will say uh, this is a big improvement to climbing. It is not the last improvement we'll make to climbing. Correct. So uh, again, keep showing us where it's not working and where it's messing up. And the, the better you can show us that stuff, the easier it's going to be for us to figure out how to improve it next. But this is a pretty vast improvement. Yeah. Cool. And then on to slide number two. If you overeat nachos, do you, you get sweats like your chicken? Own party oh, yeah, you do. To your teammates? Yeah, so you help do. Either way, they, they were showing them that they were getting the sweats. Yeah. Nice little convenience. Yeah. Slide three, please. The battle barge has moved. You'll now be launching toward the islands uh, from the north side instead of the east side. You'll see uh, a new version of the, of the barge because the sun will be shining on different parts of the barge now. Mm -hmm. Attention to detail. Uh, we have retuned how fame is gained. You'll gain more daily and weekly challenges than in season one and a bit less from gameplay accolades. This should mean that even if you're, you aren't an all-star player, uh, that simply completing your daily and weekly challenges will have finishing the battle pass much quicker. And then on to the last slide. You can now invite a larger group into a party to join playground mode together. We'll be running limited time tests of battle royale modes for larger groups this season as well. Please stay tuned. Yeah, so you'll, right away oh, you'll be able to invite three people to a group and go into playground mode and play there together. Uh, but that, that test for uh, battle royale trios and battle battle royale quads those will be later in the season and there'll be limited time as we test the modes um that doesn't mean they won't ever be permanent it just means that we're testing them now and we want to get your feedback and then we'll figure out what to do from there for sure all right now on to our balance changes good to go ahead and come back to us 
It's balance change time. All right. Keenan, give him the give him the obligatory. Balance. Tell me about dolphin dive, yeah, man. Time with you one of these streams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, while hearing about the many changes below, uh, or I guess in this speech, please keep in mind that uh, game balance is the sum of all parts. Taking any one of these changes in a vacuum may paint an inaccurate picture. We'd like to encourage you to play the game with fresh eyes and give it some time to feel out how all the puzzles are. Adam, what up, man? This is MK, MK, MK. I'm, I'm going to go back to the MK. Um, I think after this, it should be done somewhat soon. How you doing? Uh, Quake says, what I miss? They were going over some of the changes in this uh, in this uh, next season, man. Going over like the island, going over some of the new items and stuff. Your play style or a problem that you had. We'll be giving our reasoning for each change to that. Even if you disagree, you can at least follow our logic. Many of these changes they're, were inspired by... They're talking about balance changes they now. They may not address your issues exactly the way you wanted. As always, uh, put some playtime into these Anything changes and try bad? to look at the big picture so. and then give us additional feedback. If we went too far, tell us. If we didn't go far enough, tell us. And we'll make additional adjustments in the future. So with that said, uh, let's start talking about it. Yeah, so first up, we got a couple questions. Uh, first okay. one from X Dregan X uh, from Reddit. Uh, when your team talks about move functionality or balance concerns, which player dynamics, solo, duo, etc., uh, do you rank as more important on that scale? Yes. <laughs> the uh, it's, it's kind of an interesting question. We're always thinking about both solo and team play. So sometimes we design a move for team play, uh, like this jagged edge. But we think, how will this be good for solo players as well? You know, can we? You know, this used to be a move where you just kind of toss somebody to your friends, but then we kind of added the spike thing where it could get a little damage on its own, uh, and you can maybe get a little follow up off of it with your own elbow drop, uh, or maybe if you have a dolphin dive or something like that, right? So mm -hmm. th there are ways to make that work in solo, uh, and it's also just good for throwing people off the map. Though it can take a while, you'll get interrupted quite a lot when you're doing this. Somebody will see it and not want you to do the thing. Um, and it's the opposite too. When we think about a move for solo play, we, we also think about uh, you know, how will this affect uh, duo play and, and what can we do to the move as we build it to make it more functional or more interesting in that mode? Cool. Good question. Um, this was touched a little bit earlier, but a question from Vashon underscore Noel from Instagram. Can we have trios as a regular mode rather than a mode for uh, that's limited, that's a limited time mode? We'll see. Uh, the hope is yes, um, but we want to test these first and see how they go. And uh, after that, we'll, we'll make some decisions and figure it out. You guys let us know how they're feeling once, once you try them. Cool, cool. All right, now let's Trios is going to be something All right, pretty this, crazy. This, was, this is a big one. So uh, this is this is a uh, response to the most controversial change from 1.5. So let's, let's talk about it. Keenan, go ahead. Here we go. So the changes to the air dodge in the Season 1 mid-season update that added more recovery time have gone a long way toward making the game more thoughtful. We've heard your feedback on this change, especially the desire to be able to use vicious attacks and special moves when coming out of the air dodge. We've tried to find improvements and compromises that maintain the thoughtful use of this move that we intend and with the freedom players feel they lost. We found a compromise where uh, where we were comfortable with, and so the following changes have been made. Yes. All right. So first off, there's a lot of things here, so stay, stay with me. Uh, first off, we've changed the recovery animation from the air dodge to make it more visually clear that you were in a recovery state and can't perform action. So you can see the character's arms flailing. So it makes sense that if you're trying to do a move on the way down here that you can't. Uh, and that is still true. On the way down, until that's over, I won't be Tom able to... Tom says, don't mind a slice of RBC myself. I do say so. I'm glad you enjoy it, Tom and Adam. Um, we've also added a small amount of additional invulnerability time to the air dodge. Uh, so that, uh, now that it has a little bit more risk, it's actually a little easier to use. All right? So here's the big one. Once again, we're going to allow you to cancel your air dodges into special moves and air vicious attacks. So long as you are on the way up. You must be on the way up. So it'll come out. That means if Keenan is climbing away from me, I can use this to get the boost and grab him. Okay. I'll be on the way up. If I'm on the way down, I'm not going to be able to do it until okay. the air dodge is over. So that's a, that's the you. compromise we found that we were that's able to make. Keenan's interesting. Climbing. That's interesting. There. And, uh, whoops. I can do regular jump. There we go. Got him. So if you miss uh, chasing people up walls with that, uh, that is now back. How long do you think the live stream is for, is it, Billy? For this? Using the air dodge to get the uh, last time they did one of these, it was about an hour long. It's still gone. You can still so if it's the same, it would be another 15 attacks, minutes or so. You're free to play that way. You just can't get an air dodge right before it, kind of combining all the best of, of both worlds. It looks like they're kind so of starting to wrap really up nice the change. uh, the, the uh, um, changes. We've also though. added some additional recovery when landing from missing an air vicious attack. Uh, we had to shorten this when we shortened the air dodge landing in season one by a hotfix. 
because those actions were the Clay same. Clay says we play tomorrow. I'm down game. for it. Uh, in season two, we've unlinked those things so we can tune them independently. And this will bring missing low altitude vicious attacks more in line with missing the ground versions in, term of, uh, in terms of timing again. And I think that's more fair, but again, we'll tune it if you guys feel uh, it's too much or too little. Um, but beyond that, there was actually a recovery time. If you air block and then let go, there's some recovery time there. You see that? Where I'm not allowed to block again. I can't dodge. I can't jump. That's just the penalty for having pressed block in the air and let go. That was also linked to the other landing poses before, and now it's separated as well, so we can tune this independently. And as a result of that, we've drastically shortened the penalty for landing after air blocking. Um, this is going to uh, help get rid of some easy duo guard breaks, or at least make them harder to do. And it just feels a lot better in general. And that is change number one. So, okay. Uh, hopefully that addresses the most controversial change from last time in a satisfactory way. Again, play it, let us know, and we'll, we'll make more changes if we have to. You sure. On to another hot item. The air version of the Miss family can really surprise players. We've heard community complaints that it may be a bit too fast for the reward it gives. As a result, the following changes have been made. Ooh, what they do. Right. Before we do these Miss changes, uh, oh boy. I, I watched Saika in stream, and I watched him in playground mode dodging the season one vicious miss on reaction uh so that was already possible we've also made the air mist family start up a little slower so keenan's going to dodge this on reaction for you i'm going to start jumping so he's not just reacting to the jump he's going to wait to see the mist he doesn't know when i'm going to press it and he's out of the way you could always do this in season one it's even easier now Oh, yeah, you can see it's slower. Right? So it's a little bit Nerf slower. the mist. It's also definitely added slower. a little bit more landing recovery when you uh, land from the mist. So if somebody does dodge it, they're going to have a little more time to punish you. Ooh, they're making the mist uh, worse. Also increase the damage scaling values after a successful mist. So yeah. The are going to do a little bit less than they did. Before. Wow, damn. They really are nerfing that shit. This, oh, my uh, God. Mist family and make additional adjustments in the future if we need to. They are doing all the lot, nerfs. That's the truth. I think you've seen Fortunately for me, I don't really uh, care that much about the mist. Uh, stream already so far, so... Uh, keep that in mind. We're always. What listening. are people's uh, responses yeah. to that? For sure. On fair, fair. A That's massive good. consistency pass awesome. is formed on Rip attack miss. tracking across all moves to shore okay. up some situations in which attack tracking could misbehave. Target acquisition works the same, but the way a character moves toward their target after tracking has occurred should be smoother in many situations now. This is a work in progress, and additional changes and fixes will be made as we identify issues. Please continue to post your clips of the attack tracking system doing things that you feel cross the line. All right, so I'm going to take this opportunity to teach you all how attack tracking works. Uh, when you press the button, the moment you press the button, it's looking for a target. It's not waiting to look for a target when the chop is swinging. It looks immediately as soon as you press the button. It's going to jump forward no matter what. That's just part of the move. But if it detects a target, it's going to drag me towards Keenan instead of where I was going, and it's going to hit him, right? That's how attack tracking works. Uh, there were a lot of problems in our attack tracking system before, including some of the moves using wrong tracking curves, which could make them move irregularly. Uh, a lot of the moves were not finishing their tracking before hitting, so the move was supposed to move towards Keenan and then hit. It would start moving towards Keenan, hit Keenan, but it was supposed to finish a little later, so it wouldn't make it all the way. It would teleport at the end. And the last thing I want to show you, this is a big one that's going to make a huge difference. Keenan, if you could come over here to our spot where we, we tried this. Uh, Ramon, thanks for dropping that like, by the way, man. You guys all know there's ledge protection in this game, right? So... If I walk over this ledge, I just fall. But if I try to attack over this ledge, I don't. Right. right. So if I try to do a vicious attack, I'm going to get caught on this ledge. And what was happening before was you would attempt a vicious attack, and it would find a target, and then get you caught on the ledge and not follow them, and then it would teleport to them at the end. And uh, now that's fixed. So Keenan, if you come down here, I'm going to try to track you. And uh, this cleanly goes over the ledge and looks much better. Oh. So the combination of all of those things I just talked about okay uh, are actually a huge huge uh change in making the game feel and look a lot smoother interesting uh, let us know how it feels and continue to show us clips of things that cross the line for you interesting for sure okay thank you yeah that's uh, next up the plank family of weapons are pretty terrifying they I'm can be pocketed it. have a fast vicious attack that stuns for so long that you can connect anything you want afterward even if a combo scaling goes down, the value of this weapon for displacement or ringouts is still very high for how common it is. In order to lower the threat of such a common weapon, the following changes have been made. All right, so there we're right. this a little bit. Uh, we have drastically lowered the hit stun on the Plank family's vicious gut check. You can still combo quick attacks here, but you will not have enough time for a charge chop, a mm. super move, or an Irish whip. Oh. So, Keenan, go ahead and block for me. He's going to hold the block button. 
Still got plenty of time for my chop con. Okay. If I was near a wall, I could maybe wall splat him and get some stuff done. All right. This time he's going to dodge after I hit him because I'm going to try an Irish whip. That is not fast enough anymore. That is oh. not going to make it. We'll oh. try a charge chop. You can just continue to hold block this time. Not fast enough. Oh, and of course, lastly but not least, we'll show that a super doesn't make it. Go what up, David? Ahead. Welcome to the stream. It does not make it in time. So that is a serious nerf. Okay. The, uh, Interesting. And, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You can still get some good stuff from Some people are sad. Some, some people are happy. After them. If you uh, you know have Bombastic or you have a wall near you, you might be able to get some more. But uh, big game changer. We're not opposed to power. Some people are not happy with that. Power. Bad players are crying right now, they said. That's if funny. A vicious attack that stuns into the full charge job. Oh, okay. You still got trash cans and all that kind of stuff, but you can't pocket those. So the use of those is a little bit more limited. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, same, same no more scared of plank stuns. Too, right? Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, like, because the plank, you still get a one, one, one follow up. If you got dolphin dive, you'll always be able to follow up with that after right. the plank. Uh, due to the increasing number, of I think that's. I think that's a good change. I like that. We've opted into lower weapon drop rates from crates. While doing this, we also raised the skill book drop rates uh, from crates. And now that there is a larger variety of special moves in the game, we want to give players more opportunities to find the ones they want to use. That means they know Absolutely. they're carried. Uh, How big are the turtles? This, can you drop it? Values by a hot fix. I know some people will yell, hey, why don't you hotfix this or that? What are you talking about? We can't hotfix everything in the game. There are certain things that the hotfix system allows us to touch, and there are other things that we can't touch. I'm going to take a, a quick washroom break. I'll be right back, guys. Without warning. Um, so one good thing about these changes is they're pretty easy to tweak. And, uh, you know, if, you, if we, we're finding that the weapons are still too common, we can lower it. Or if the books aren't common enough, we can raise that. And as a bonus note, key bat drop rates have decreased. So you'll see those a little bit less as well. Cool. Uh, onto the shot family moves. Uh, goal shot and rec shot will now ball bounce the opponent off of the floor like Cosmo shot does. Teammates may be able to pick up combos in this moment. We felt that adding this to all tiers of moves made it feel more thematic. It increased the teamwork opportunities. Yeah, I like this change a lot. So let's give it a shot here. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna give uh, this dude a swift kick and he'll bounce. Boing. You can actually do a little ground combo off that, Keenan. You want to try doing the basic combo off of this? Look at that. It's a pretty low bounce, so you get some really neat opportunities off of that. Uh, the rec shot will work the same, Keenan. If you want to scoot back a little bit more, there we go. Ooh. Oh, we missed. The Cosmo shot always did that, and now the lower varieties also have this ability. All which right, is really what are you talking about here? Did I miss anything? Them, both for teamwork and in regular play. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of that change myself. Shoot, what they change? Yeah. Next update. Uh, the team really liked the change that we made to the basic suplex in the season one mid-season. Maybe this is one slam with the dolphin. Now that it, it is the delicious, delicious move, I also slam with the dolphin. Often, especially near ledges or low health. But he wasn't delicious. In order to lean more into the basic toolkit being faster, but safer. The following changes have been made. All right. Before I show this, I'll just note that these changes are supposed to apply to the Brain Buster version, but they didn't. So we'll get that fixed in the next patch as well. So if you get Brain Buster, you get a slightly worse but slightly stronger uh, version of this move for now. Uh, so what we did was uh, Cosmo we and the basic suplex up. To much combo? faster. Oh, okay. Yes, Keenan, do you have a, a vicious attack equipped like Giant Swing or Azuna Drop or, or something like that? Maybe Emerald Crusher. Here, Emerald Crusher's right here. Take this one. Thank you. Wreck so we're shot. just going to do these side by side, not tr not attack each other, and then we're going to mash jump afterwards so you can see how much quicker my basic suplex actually recovers. All right, three, two, one, go. So I'm out much faster. Uh, if Keenan were to dodge this, it's actually going to be quite a bit harder for him to punish it because it recovers so fast. And it also hits slightly faster than before. It was already the fastest vicious attack in the game, but now it's a little bit faster than, than it was in season 1.5. Um, it's going to be very rare to find a person who can dodge this on reaction. And uh, if you do, they might not be able to punish it because it recovers so fast. So the way I want you to deal with this yeah. is to press your chop button and try to challenge it because that'll beat it out straight up with the priority system. Uh, this is going to add a lot of variety to your kind of 1v1 skirmishes and, and all that stuff. Okay. You probably also notice we changed the animation for this, the attempt animation, kind of reaches out forward. That way your opponent can see what you went for and understands why it recovered so fast compared to uh, some of the other grab moves that have kind of the big open arms animation. Um, cool. And yeah, I think that's it for that change. Next that is up, one of my favorite changes. For sure. Uh, next up, I think you have uh, some beefy uh, updates yeah. for us. Yeah, let me take a sip of my water. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. This next section this is has a lot of pretty technical things comments. we're going to dive into. It's not going to be the most visually interesting part of the stream. Uh, but I really want to talk to you guys about all this stuff because I think it's really important. And I think it will address a lot of your concerns. So try to stay with me. Previously, Block Stun had a lot of unpredictable cancel windows. For a few frames towards the end of Block Stun, Block Stun is what happens when you, somebody hits you. So I'm blocking. I'm in Block Loop right now. I'm looping Block. If Keenan attacks me, I'll be in Block Stun, and then I'll go back into Block Loop. Okay, that's how it works. Block Stun, Block Loop, right? So previously, at the end of Block Stun, uh, there, were, there was a, a window that could change sizes depending on how long the Block Stun was that allowed you to attack if you were still holding the Block button, but not if you let go. So that would allow you to break out a block stun way earlier than we expected you to. After that, there would be a dead zone of about a frame. And then after that, you'd be in a block exit phase that lasted about a quarter of a second. And during that block exit phase for the first half, you were allowed to dodge, but not attack. For the next quarter of it, you could do nothing. And for the last quarter of it, you could uh, attack, but not dodge very confusing. You're supposed to be confused by this. It's too much. It doesn't make any sense. None of that stuff uh, should have been working the way it was. The so OS. we've completely reworked how block stun and block exit work. Okay. It should result in a vastly more consistent feeling uh, game and feeling to punishing attacks. When you're allowed to move and dodge and attack after releasing block, uh, you may have you know seen somebody mashing super activate during block stun and it would start and then stop. That shouldn't happen anymore either. Uh, a lot of things were fixed by this. Um, this also means you can no longer attack while holding block. So if Keenan is attacking me and I want to punish, I'm mashing the button. I can't because I'm holding block. I have to let go if I want to reply. All right? So that's a big change you're going to need to be aware of. You must let go of block if you want to attack or it's not going to work. Uh, in order to do this change, we had to touch every single block stun value in the game multiple times. It, this was a huge endeavor. This is something we were aware of at the beginning of Season 1. Uh, Matthew dropped in the lights. Thank you. A lot of time to test it. Uh, and you may still find a problem or two, so please let us know if you do. That's interesting. Um, moves that were never intended to be punishable when blocked, such as punch and charge chop, are now not punishable. So, Keenan can block right after the charge chop, and I will not be able to punish that ever. And punch as well, not punishable ever. All right? So that's a lot better as well. I, um, I thought we also those fixed an issue that prevented already. you from dodging for a few frames after you pressed block. So you'd hit block and then hit dash to try and dodge. And if you hit them like right at the same time, but you hit the block button slightly earlier, you would be prevented from dodging for two frames. And now that's fixed and it will come out immediately. So that's a lot of stuff. Block's done. It's going to feel a lot better. Blocking's going to feel a lot better. Huge change. Okay. That's not it though. <laughs> uh, as we noticed in the season 1.5 mid-season update, the team wanted to, uh, as we noted, I should say, the team wanted to work towards removing the early cancel windows found on dodge that made it feel so inconsistent to punish. As a result, we've made the following changes. We've removed all early cancel windows from the end of dodge. So you're not attacking until it is over. And there's no way to get out of that earlier. But we've shortened the dodge roll as well. You know, some situations actually where one, two will get you punished. One, I didn't even know that. Earlier in general, even I, I don't think I which feels really realize that. Um, you need to keep in mind, this is a big picture lesson. When I say something like, hey, the chair vicious hasn't had more recovery frames added to it. It doesn't matter because the dodge is shorter now. So technically everything has more recovery in the face of the dodge. So think about that as well when you think about big picture. Are people happy that with that? In terms of balance when we're giving you this boatload Making of Making the game, it's hard the game to better. See people are happy it's it you until you play it. So keep that in mind. Again, um, this should make dodging feel extremely visually consistent now. Punish timing should be much more predictable. Yeah, one, one. yeah, yeah. I know what and you mean. And in addition, the you're going to find dodging one, two is to completely be different. nicer and, and snappier feeling in general because of the shorter recovery time. So let's keep talking about dodging a little bit. Uh, many changes have been happening to the dodge in order to get rid of those early cancel windows and make that punishing feel consistent. And now that that work is complete, we've noticed that the changes are making using bailout on hit in your offense more risky than we'd like. So in order to encourage and reward offense, we've made the following changes. This is definitely my favorite change for season two. All right, bailout on miss. That's when you, you know, cancel a move that has missed or had been blocked. It's got the same recovery as the basic dodges, but again, those are shorter than they were in season one. So these are a little snappier. You're also going to notice this cool new V effect. There yeah. was always a V effect on bailouts. It was just not very noticeable. So now you see this big X. If you see somebody do a bailout, you see that big X. Okay. okay. That's, that's cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, so the big change here is we've drastically lowered the recovery on bailout on hit specifically. So bailout oh. on miss again is when I miss or when I'm blocked. Okay. But 
if I hit somebody, go ahead and let go, Keenan. That's how fast I recover. They're really fast. Okay, it does look it does look uh, different. I like that. This is going to make punishing a bailout if you're attacking somebody who is fighting and got a successful hit much, much, much more difficult. Good. You can't just sit around and wait for them because they're pretty hard to react to. Good. We've also extended this change to charges. So I'm charging up my chop. I don't want it. I'm just going to backflip out. And that's the improved bailout, the, the bailout on hit. So I can get out of that really Ooh, fast. You can see it's lightning fast. I like uh, that. Which gives you some really interesting bait opportunities on charges. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, and then uh, this change does not extend to the air bailouts because those already recovered really fast and never had any changes from season one. So you could always attack right out of them. Uh, and then we've also added a little bit more invulnerability to the backflip dodge because it had some inconsistent amounts. So we kind of raised it to make it a little bit more consistent. It's still a little less than the directional dodge, but uh yeah it's a lot better i have a quick question for you adam yeah um so for the folks that maybe not are f familiar with the term bailout how would you define that uh bailout is what we call a, a dodge cancel cancel is just a, a word meaning you're gonna make one animation end early to go into a different one so if mm -hmm. i do this chop i'm stuck in it until i'm mashing jump right i can't do anything until that moment but i can roll out of that much much earlier just by hitting my dodge buttons that's all i have to do uh, it's kind of a key mechanic to the game to avoid third parties. For sure. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, let's chat about that more. Because of the faster bailout on hit, a few moves needed to be adjusted to limit combo opportunities or reduce damage due to new combo opportunities. Adam? Yeah. A couple small changes here. Cyclone Family now launches people less high and slightly farther away to prevent a looping combo. So I'll sh show you here. Didn't go very high. Didn't go that far. Oh. Um, the looping combo here was basically just this over and over again <laughs> it was very easy so we had to we had to make that change to get rid of that uh goal shots bounce is actually self comboable as well using a bailout on hit so i can actually catch up to him and give him another boot oh we got him off the wall as well very nice <laughs> yes. uh, so we've lowered the damage on that one from 170 to 100 because now it, it gives you some combos all right uh we also discovered an issue that could prevent you from being able to dodge for a few frames uh, if you hit dash before hitting block when trying to input those buttons at the same time. Uh, we talked about this just a few minutes ago on the block side. You'd hit block and then dash. There'd be about two frames where you couldn't dodge. Um, we discovered that on the other side as well. We also discovered inconsistent stamina costs around these dual button press windows. And to address this and add another layer of depth to the improved bailouts, we've made the following changes. When pressing dash slightly before block to trigger dodge, dodge will now come out instantly and require the correct amount of stamina. You will not be double costed for the dash and the dodge ever. Uh, previously, you would have to wait about a twelfth of a second, which was quite substantial, in order to activate the dodge that way, uh, which you know could make you feel like you got robbed. And it would also cost you more stamina than it was supposed to, so that was kind of nasty. Uh, after this window at the start of the dash, if you attempt to dodge, you're going to get uh, your normal dodge. You can see there's no X on there. That's my normal dodge out of there. But if you wait until the dash has started up significantly and then you press the button, you're going to get the improved bailout on block for, or bailout on hit version. So you can actually dash at people and get these really fast dodges that are really fun to mix people with. If you hold the dash button any time during the second or third dashes, you can get it as well. So you don't have to wait for the startup in that case. Uh, so it goes dash one, two, three, two, three. It loops two and three over and over again. Anytime after the first one. You're going to be able to get that improved bailout on hit da uh, dodge, which is really, really fun. Um, yeah. So I, I just want to say the inconsistencies y'all were feeling were very real. They were not the result of netcode or servers or ping. Uh, they were problems with the way some of these moves were set up that was very difficult for us to resolve and took a lot of testing for us to fix and get right. If you're feeling other inconsistencies after this, uh, take video, report it, and we will investigate because a lot of the stuff you guys pointed out here helped us find some of the issues with some of these moves and make them better. So uh, that concludes my very technical portion of this demo that really kind of digs into some of the problems y'all were feeling and, and definitely want to make you, you know, let you know they were real. They were real problems, but they're not online issues. Just tracking issues and other bugs. All right, Keenan, let's jump into the more fun stuff back uh, again. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, how folks feel about how fun this next one is. Here we go. The arm stat <coughs> is a very desirable uh, uh, stat pod for players. Mm -hmm. What are they doing in the arms? This is always a good time uh, because higher damage output carries the added benefit of faster perk generation. The arm stat is the most powerful, both statistically and in practice. And in order to level the playing field as it relates to perks, the following changes have been made. What they the arm do. stat no longer contributes its damage bonus towards perk experience. 
So, uh, if you mm. if your move is supposed to do 100 damage and you have a bunch of arms that makes it do 200, it will still do 200 damage, but you're only going to get uh, towards your perk meter that 100. Oh. So that's a, a pretty big change. As a result of that, we've actually retuned all of the values at which you earn perks downwards so that it's easier for everyone to earn perks even if they don't invest in the arm stat. Uh, and I think that will make diverse builds feel a lot more fair uh, because perks are such a key, important part of the game. And you got such an advantage for building arms in just in terms of perk generation. Damage bonuses from other perks like temper or or whatever uh, will still give you a perk XP bonus, and same with super mode. So if you're in super mode, you're going to get that bonus. Cool, cool. Thanks for that breakdown. Interesting. While the team wants the super move to remain scary, we recognize that when combined with the arm stats and other upgrades, the burst damage can feel too high to mitigate. To combat this, we've adjusted the super move so that it now gains half of the arm's bonus for damage scaling. That is correct. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to demo that here, but let's say you had 10 arms, you're going to get what you would have got with five arms before, <laughs> just on the super move specifically. There you go. All right. One uh, one thing I want to talk about is that we've changed the way we calculate elevation damage and unified all of our fall damage systems to address a large number of bugs. So there's not going to be stuff in the bug fixes that talk about this, but this addressed dozens of bugs. Uh, instead of multiplying based on fall distance, we're going to be adding a flat value based on fall distance. Uh, this is going to make fall damage feel more predictable and consistent across the board. And it's also uh, allowed us to remove damage caps on the on the low end for some of the weaker moves, like a basic suplex or a green choke slam. You'd get double bounce on that. You wouldn't get that much damage. We've made that so that it does more. However, on the high end, I think you'll find things tend to do a bit less. And I'm going to go up as high as I can over here without wasting too much time and do a key bat drop on Keenan and show you. Uh, all of these values have changed. Keenan, where are you at right now? I'm by the crates. Okay. You see crates. Over there. That's where I'm at. Cool. Uh, so all of these values have changed. Where is he? There he is. 332. Not nearly as much as it would have done before. That probably would have done like 900 before from that height. <laughs> um, so definitely keep an eye on all of this. Um, you're going to find that... Uh, everything feels a little bit different and I want you guys to let us know if something feels too low let us know if it feels too high let us know uh, you're also going to find things like hey the Omega Cyclone used to do fall damage in addition to its regular damage it doesn't anymore uh, a lot of moves are going to do a little bit less because or more because uh, of the way those changes that have been made so like a, a giant swing or a big swing uh, as long as I can still combo dolphin, dolphin dive course. with Omega Cyclone, then we'll um, be fine. Something like Omega Uppercut or, or, or Uncharged Omega Uppercut deals less fall damage than it used to. So it kind of tunes that down. Cool. Thank you. Uh, previously, area effect attacks could pass through walls, leading to a lot of frustration and cheesy technique. This also made it visually unclear where you might be able to uh, hide in order to protect yourself from an elbow drops blast. As a result, we made it so that AoE attacks can no longer pass through walls. Where did Keenan go? There he is. I mean, okay, cool. Yeah, AoEs don't go through walls anymore. Oh. So we'll just use this as an example. That's not going to work. Oh. You actually have to come around the corner to hit people with this stuff. Damn, I kind of liked it like that. So As long as you peek around the corner a little bit, you'll get them. Damn. But, uh, no more attacking through walls. That fixes some other bugs as well. Damn. It just generally makes the game more fair, and it feels a lot more clear if you're trying to you know, hide from a big elbow drop. Where you can Man, I like to attacking people uh, through that's a pretty walls. Nice cool. Uh, next up, special move stamina costs have been reworked. Previously, higher rarity moves cost slightly less stamina than lower rarity moves. Now we've reversed, reversed it. Lower rarity moves now cost quite a bit less stamina than their higher tier counterparts. That is right. Let me equip some sumo slaps here. We'll use this as a demo. So it used to be that the you know, purple sumo slap cost like 28 on the lowest. And then the blue was like 30, and then the green was like 32. So it's like, you know, went up by two as you went lower in rarities. We reversed that and made the numbers bigger. As Saying well. something so about that last night, and you didn't say anything when it happened to me. Yeah. What, hitting someone through a wall? Like, I, I, the thing is, I've always, I've known, like, for a while that that's just how it was, and I was cool with it, and now they're just changing it. So this is going to encourage you to uh, maybe voluntarily run some more common books if you're not running legs as well, because it's going to get a bit more stamina intensive to use some of the higher rarity books. But beyond that, you'll also notice that some special move families have gotten some adjustments uh, in general uh, to their costs. So a good example is going to be 
the super kick family is actually going to be a low stamina cost family now. So that's going to be only 15 for a super kick. Very, very cheap. Whereas a punchline, even on green, is already 30. So keep that in mind. All that stuff's going to, all your charts about stamina cost will need to be re looked at and everything like that. But it definitely changes the way you think about your builds uh, as well. And I think this is a really nice change. Thank you. There is always intended to be a limit of two. Uh, you're, you skipped one. Whoopsies. Uh, Andy, are you going to be home anytime soon, by the way? After the hammer fist ender, uh, unless you had bombastic. The intention is that if you want an elbow, you'll need to use the back toss ender and sacrifice some upfront damage and time. To fix this, we have delayed the time in which you can cancel out a hammer fist early into jump or attacks. Due to the slow startup nature, uh, due to the slow startup speed of the die family of special moves, they also no longer score a guaranteed combo off of Hammer Fist. What? Once we get the bombastic perk, you will still be able to combo into most ground attacks with good timing. Right, which I currently don't have, so that makes this demo easier. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the Hammer Fist Ender on Keenan and then try to elbow him. He'll be able to get out of that every time with a dodge or a block. We'll also show that with Dolphin Dive. That does not work anymore either. Well, that looked a little funny, but... <laughs> That's the game thinking I was supposed to hit, but him correcting it last second. There no. we go. That won't work anymore either. Um, again, you were never supposed to get those off of this. This is your highest damage ender. It's supposed to be the one you use for a quick ending. Okay, but you can still do the other one? So if you want the same combos, you're going to use the back toss ender, sacrifice that damage, okay. and then go into the, your favorite. All right, at least you can still do that. Toss if you want to get to that. Elbow drop or the dolphin. At dive. least we can still do that. It's okay. These guys in the chat, they're like talking dolphin dives over, but it's earlier. okay. It'll be fine. Uh, there was always intended to be a limit of two wall bounces per combo, but many bugs prevented this from being true. Players could circumvent this limit by doing different wall bounce animations, and this resulted in much more common long combos than intended. As a result, the following changes have been made. What are you doing to the combos? There's now a two wall bounce limit. The third wall bounce in the combo will always end the combo. So let's check it out. There's one. There's two. That would have ended the combo before because it was the same wall bounce, but now three. So we've unified all of that stuff. Let's try it again. Really? Let's do one. And then we'll do two. Well, that's not going to wall splat, is it? Oh, it did. Okay, nice. That probably won't. I got the angle wrong. Let's try it one more time. This wall's a little jaggy for this. Maybe not the best idea, but one, two. And then hopefully that wall splats. It did not. Okay. <laughs> well, that would have ended the combo. Uh, you get the idea. Uh, fixing this allowed us to uh, return the ball wall bounce to the dive family, uh, the, the dive family and the shot family. So you're going to see that ball wall bounce come back. But again, the limit is three. So uh, one, technically two. The third one ends it. So there's one. Oh man, in about two. Hour, three thirty at the latest. Is Andy? Third one that's going to end it. What up, uh, Michael? So how you doing, man? Jonathan, thanks for dropping that like. There's still energy. a two Irish whip limit. There always was, and this has nothing to do with the wall bounces. This is the Irish whip itself. So you can see he's invincible after the second Irish whip. That's just how that works. So if you see that end a little early, uh, it's because you did two Irish whips. You're not allowed to do that. Um, and because of this change, it also made wall splatting three times in a row with the punchline uh, possible, which felt too like too much. Uh, so we've put a combo limit of two on punchlines. Um, so your second punchline is going to end the combo right there as well. Uh, you can still get what you got before with your you know Irish whip into the wall, punchline, and then punchline again. But that ends the combo because of the second punchline and the third wall bounce. Um, we were also able to fix an issue that would cause the combo limit to reset whenever somebody did this backslide right here. So uh, you've probably seen combos where people switched walls and were able to do extra wall bounces, and they thought it was because they used a different wall. But the real reason was actually just this backslide animation reset the combo limit every time. So sumo slap and this move, so long as they didn't hit a wall immediately, would always reset it. Whereas if it was near a wall, it would never get to that part of the animation. It would just hit the wall, and it wouldn't reset. So. A uh, little bit less wall bounce ability. Still tons of combos you can do in the game, especially with teams, but those wall bounce combos will be a little bit shorter in Season 2. Mm. Okay. Wait. That's the fine, I guess. family was previously unable to track victims into the air, which could look visually confusing due to the angle of the kick animation. As a result, we've changed it so that the super kick family can track victims into the air. Yeah, not many Justine moves actually. Justine Timberlake, there. thanks so for the Keenan like. So Keenan and I are going to do a little demo. I'm going to uh, jump, and as soon as I land, I'm going to try a drop kick, and then Keenan's going to jump. That's going to tra track him up into the air. We've all felt that, right? That's a move that tracks people into the air. That's what it's for. Whereas punchline, let's try that. I just miss because the tracking is not going to follow him into the air, right? So what's cool about super kick, it's a little buff to it, is it does now have that ability to track people into the air. 
which makes a lot of sense because it's kind of an upwards kick and it could look awkward. The, the and he says, how long you on for? Yeah, no, like, I'll hit. probably be on for another two hours or so. Which looks and feels cool. Definitely. In order to increase the options for possible counterplay when trying to help a down teammate, we've added a new cancel window to most moves that lets you attempt to revive a friend before the move is fully recovered. These cancel windows line up with the usual timing for a bailout. Yeah, this is actually super cool. So you can, you know, you drop kick a guy, you wouldn't be able to revive until you're able to basically jump, right? Because you have to fully recover. So I'll mash jump. This is when I can start reviving my teammate. But with the new changes, you can actually start a revive any time where a bailout is allowed. So I could do it as early as that, uh, which will make it a lot, says, Where's Quake? lot I don't better know. to have options for might have uh, dipped for a bit away from your teammates when you're trying to revive them. Very, very cool change. Uh, definitely increases survivability in teams quite a bit. Uh, this next one's for our emote fans. We have completed our first rework on the amount of superstar meter you can build by using emotes. Because of the 10 second cooldown we added in the season one mid-season update, we were able to substantially increase the amount of superstar meter you can gain by using emotes. You'll also find the reward for completing longer emotes to be much more appealing and worth the risk. The team will monitor these values and adjust in the future if needed. Yeah, so those short looping emotes like wave and stuff, they're still not gonna build you much. Uh, but this was a change we just didn't have time for last time. We just needed to kind of stop the behavior of mashing a taunt forever to build uh, meter safely. But now if you do something like, I'm going to do, uh, let's say, Super Thumb. 27 meter for Super Thumb. Shoot. That's quite a lot. So I'm going to hang out a little okay. bit. i got to wait 10 seconds for the cooldown. Uh, five, six, seven. Pay to win, eight, right? Eight, a little five. bit. So let's try Flex, which is one of our longest emotes. Let's try that out. 35 very nice yo so this is a huge change and it's going to make it a lot more valuable to try a longer emote to see if you can get in that huge amount of uh superstar meter gain whereas the shorter stuff which i'll show you in a second, everyone in the chat saying pay to win, win. i missed that last part about reviving and they're not really talking about reviving Sterling, thanks for the like stopping hello they're saying how like different longer emotes will give you more superstar meter definitely solid update thanks yeah We've heard community concerns about instability in the perk system. Previously, each time you'd earn a perk, the game would choose randomly from all available perks with no additional rules or considerations. It could feel bad to work hard to earn eight perks, only to end up with no healing perks. Oh, now they're going to talk about, about the healing, maybe? healing perks. We recognize that this is a difficult situation that may be out of line with the risk-reward values of the rest of the game. To help out, the following changes have been made. Yeah, before I do this real quick, I just want to note, you don't build that meter for the emotes if no one's near you you got to be really near people oh he, he ran at me <laughs> sorry <laughs> damn it <laughs> i was gonna demo that uh but yeah you got to be in in dangerous range of people to get that meter from the emotes all right so back to the perks like keenan said you get eight perks no healing perks felt bad um so what we've done is instead of having one hat that has all the perks in it that you just reach your hand into we've made two hats there's a healing hat and a non-healing hat and you'll have a percent chance to draw from the healing hat and uh, have a percent chance to draw from the non-healing hat instead. So if you roll the dice and you draw from the non-healing hat, you don't get a healing perk, we're actually gonna raise the percentage chance of you drawing from the healing bucket next time. So you're gonna get a better chance at a healing perk next time. And then yeah. if you fail three times in a row and you still haven't gotten a healing perk by perk four, we're just gonna flat out give you one next time. So okay, every there you go. Perk is guaranteed to be every a fourth perk, perk so is, gonna, is gonna be a healing perk. Worst case. Uh, that's cool i like that i like that that's cool that's, that's the change and then just because I, I know we mentioned the insatiable perk earlier is that considered one of the new healing perks then the insatiable perk is considered one of the new healing perks so that will be in the healing bucket cool cool um yeah can we uh cut away so i can do a debug thing real quick thank you i'll just be one moment all right, that's interesting. Okay. Come back to us. Keenan, read it. We've heard additional feedback about the meditative perk. And as promised, we'd like to take another step toward adjusting this perk to be more healthy for the game's pacing. As a result, the following change has been made. You're probably noticing that I'm, I have meditated and I'm not healing right now. Keenan, can you knock me down to 50% health, please? Oh, do you need 50? <gasps> you need to have 50 or less for it to work? Stand still to regenerate up to half health. That's oh, that's a huge nerf. Half, 
I will be able to meditate. So now I'm slightly below half. I'm going to go ahead and meditate real quick. No way. Now I'm at half and I stop. No huge way. Meditation. That's Maybe huge. Lower so I can show it again. But I want to talk about this one. That's a massive so change. Good. I think, uh, you know, players who are coming back from season one might be a little confused by this, so we can all be helpful and, and let them know. Why Yo, this is not that's good. actually, that's, uh, that's an insane change. Health. But math mathematically, this works out really interestingly. Uh, you know, you can only build up to half, so you'd think, oh, I'm going to get half the value I used to get from Meditate. In practice, it's actually much bigger than that. You're probably getting like 20 or 25% of the value you would have got out of Meditate before. Because think about how Dude, often you can meditate. That's like, wow, so much worse. That time is not going to be able to. Fill that that's a huge meditate. change. They couldn't even put it down to seventy-five. Uh, They're making it only up to fifty. You know, increase the pace of the game and, and all that stuff. Uh, but we'll have to see how it plays because this is another big picture thinking lesson moment. There are a lot of changes that we just talked about for season two that make survivability go up. Less wall splats in a combo, guaranteed access to healing perks, etc., etc. Yo, that's that's a, also a huge that change to meditate. So we, got, we didn't talk about this, but we've added some additional ring phases to the end of the match, so that there's uh, an additional phase before the final ring, and both of those pre-final uh, uh, final ring phases are a little longer. They add another so perk that fully heals you still. Uh, well, so the, the only perk really they added for healing is something called Insatiable, uh, we're not really sure which makes it so that you get a 50% so boost every time you use like a, a chicken or whatever. Beginner all the way up to the top to see what this is doing to the game's pace, and we want you to play the game for a few weeks and then respectfully share That's a huge change for Meditate, though. Massive change. You can only heal up to 50% health. Um, let's find that's that's an insanely big change. Yeah, we change. got a couple bug fixes we want to go over before we close out the show. I, I will say, this was about two-thirds of the balance changes. There are Dude, more. Dude, that's, that's, to be able to that's a more, huge uh, change uh, to Meditate. Uh, maybe it's fine, you know? Maybe it's fine. Honestly, I, I, I didn't feel like I needed it that much to like hot ticket issue use it like uh, that choke slams but that's insane stamina break wasn't working like uh sadistic with like cyclone and like sumo slap and stuff is going to be much much better now i think much much better so that is fixed choke slams back <laughs> very very good go. welcome back choke yeah. slam uh this next one's pretty interesting too um we fixed an issue that occurred when you attempted to dash right after learning a special move, which would cause the special move to incur uh, instead of the dash. So I've had that happen to me. Learn the special times. move. I'm going to put it on uh, my, my right bumper and mash dash. And I get the dash. Before, that would have just done the special move. So that, that's a big, uh, very nice change. So you don't accidentally special move in a crowd that sure. you're trying to dash out of. That's insane, dude. Um, a huge change for meditation. Issue preventing hit sound effects from cutting off properly when you server correction. Uh, into block occurs and this is a good opportunity to talk about server corrections uh you are playing a game where the server is the authority on what actually happens in the game dude i feel like meditate's so gonna style, be like you know you get to move in so much worse by now applying any delay to your character your jump happens when you press it your attacks happen when you press it it all feels nice and crispy um but the server gets that information a little later same from with from keenan's side and uh then it'll send me keenan's information so i can know what <coughs> uh and what that means is that if I want to block something at the very, very, very last moment, so Keenan's going to try to block this at the very last moment right after I jump. Keenan would not be able to do that if we didn't use a bunch of tricks to allow the game to have time to communicate. So one thing we do is we use hit stop and we kind of freeze the characters for a moment to give us more time to communicate. And another trick we do is you can see when I hit Keenan, there's a little spark that appears. It's got white in the middle and then yellow. If you block, it's got white in the middle and then kind of blue, and it shoots the other direction. When we start animating that spark, it's white. And then once the server lets us know if that was supposed to hit a block, and he says, "Bless you, thank you, thank you, Andy." Time to adjust. Ruan, thanks for the like, dude. These are some some big changes. The same was supposed to happen with that meditate nerve. Like that's insane. So if I were to attack at Keenan and it looked like I was about to get a hit on my side, it would start playing the hit effect. But then I would get a correction from the server. That is like now if you see like if you see anyone meditating, you're gonna know they're under fifty percent health. That's gonna be a big tell as well. So you know like oh like fucking kill that guy. He's, 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 he's meditating. He's low. That is makes the game feel responsive. If you want your blocking to be respected to the last possible moment, we have to do that for all of your opponents too. And because of that, we need to use tricks to communicate with the server and kind of uh, try to hide all these things from you. Um, so there's a little look under the hood, and I hope, hopefully that helps you understand some of the things you see. 
uh, when you're playing the game because it is an online video game. It is. And uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah, the full list will be coming to our website tomorrow. Again, it includes a good number of balance changes we skipped and a ton of additional bug fixes. So check that out. What up, Tristan says, damn, Meditate getting nerfed. They they had a huge a huge nerf on Meditate. Kiki. Massive um, nerf on Meditate. A couple Meditate. questions uh, before we close um, from social media. Uh, Jason from Facebook, are there any plans for future collaborations? Uh, we're definitely trying to figure out what we can do there. I don't think they put some real thought into that, says Andy. You don't think so? At this time, so uh, stay tuned. Cool. Uh, and then lastly, a uh, question from Saiken on Twitter. Uh, what is the team uh, most excited about with, within the low-key key expansion? Uh, for me, having a new uh, space to play in is incredible. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting new places around here to have a good fight or to do some awesome platforming. Um, but my, my favorite change is actually just the bailout stuff, uh, being able to do these really fast dodges uh, you know, out of some of these charge moves and stuff. Just feels incredible. Makes the game feel a lot snappier and uh, gives me more ways to, you know, use my stamina and make my opponent make a mistake, try to force a mistake. I'm a big fan of that. Let's see what a 10 arm super does these days, huh? 10 red super. How much are you getting for this? 1073 with 10 arms. 10, That's a significant decrease. Uh, what's your favorite change? Uh, I also really like that change. So much uh, less. It feels and looks so good with that, that XV effects. Um, I also really like how uh, the blocking just feels. It just feels so much more responsive. Where Oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be a quarter second. Letting go a block would be a quarter second long, and now it's vastly shorter than that. So you're out of block once you let go, like, almost instantly. Yeah. All, all the, the gameplay quality of life stuff uh, feels just so much better. Um, yeah, and on top totally. of that, I, I'd probably say the Edge family moves. Uh, I <laughs> love taking people to the edge of the water and then throwing them in. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> uh okay i think if we don't have anything else we can close out the show deed you want to take us out all right well that's the update anyways for uh this Maybe. season of uh Rumbleverse. that's pretty cool <laughs> it might be muted or gone who knows all right well i'll sign us out thanks for joining us uh this has been got first tired of people complaining about meditation on first perks you, uh, being able to yeah, chill meditate yeah, the whole season. game so now they made it uh, where they have to meditate. holidays season and uh hopefully you spend some of that time with like if you're spending the whole down. game chilling yeah, meditating well, like you're you're, nice you're giving up a, that it's a whole opportunity I cost situation though you're giving up a lot i don't think like people complaining about that was like necessarily warranted it's not a huge thing like yeah if someone gets meditate early on and they want to just sit back and not do shit well now they don't get any of the other perks you know but either way that's interesting key brown dropping a like and share thank you very much man i appreciate it, it says hey pond hey frog rub it how you doing man we're not not the pond today we, we are on the main account just got finished uh, checking out the updates for uh, Rumbleverse uh, Season 2 happening tomorrow out here. Pretty crazy stuff, man. Pretty crazy stuff. Hey, a banana. Um, sure, I'll accept. No, nope, never mind. Lubomir in the chat says, good night, my friends. Hey, you have a good night out here, Lubomir. Thank you so much for coming through the stream. Thank you for the ridiculous generosity, man. I appreciate it, dude. We are going to get back into Combat League, at least for a bit. Do some more uh, games out here. Billy says we back at it. Yes, sir. Eddie says we have an all-day Rumbleverse stream tomorrow. I don't know about an all-day Rumbleverse stream, but... I could be I could be open to a lot of Rumbleverse tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what time the update's gonna come out, but I think it would be likely that it's not even out by the time I generally start streaming. So I'll probably still start with MK regardless. Um, but I would be down to uh, do some Rumbleverse tomorrow. Play this new uh, this new season.
Michael says he's probably gonna drop some more before he leaves. I don't know about that. I think Lubomir's, uh, he might have already headed out by now. Billy says, have a great night, Lubomir. Shout out to the man, Lubomir, blessing us like crazy over the last couple weeks now. Yeah, you played in Sonic Marvel Spider-Man, right? Oh, for real? Oh, yeah, I have, man. I played the Miles Morales one twice, and I played the Peter Parker one once, but the game's great. Definitely one of the best um, Spider-Man games that we've had in a, in a little while. For sure. Hey, it's God See All. Generally referred to as God Seal. Let's get it. He says, was playing with Devora last night. Didn't realize that after Widow's Kiss, her down 4 2 into her back 3 4. It had to be time to write to get off. How did you even learn to do these things? A lot of practice, man. Her down 4 2 into her back 3 4. I don't know what you mean by that. But I think you mean what? The amp uh, teleport maybe into the back 3 4? Like if you if you just do um, if you do that you just gotta do a back dash into back three four and it'll be fine. Thoughts on Insomniac Spider Man two? Lost my mind when Venom came in. Oh dude, when that game comes out, I'm definitely I'm definitely looking to play it. I'm also pretty interested in the next uh, Wolverine game as well that's supposed to be coming out at some point in the near future. Not sure exactly when. Favorite Spider Man characters? Freaking love Shocker so much. Shocker, yeah. Um, favorite Spider-Man characters, like, honestly, Spider-Man has such a great, like, such a great, like, selection of, uh, of, uh, villains, honestly. It has, like, an insanely sick selection of villains. So, there's a lot of good ones, honestly. Shocker's pretty cool, though. Shocker, Shocker's pretty cool. Ow. But, yeah, Venom being in the next one is sick. Cause like I was I was thinking originally like why the hell is Venom not in the other one? But it's because they wanted to save him for the next one, which which makes sense. Now. The bug on the ground into her back three four. Oh yeah, there's there's definitely timings that you need to know for that but like the thing is if you ever do that mid-screen and they block you just push them away from the bug so you just end up actually making yourself punishable so like using that in general is actually pretty shit like it's it's generally not a good move to use martin thanks for the like the, the best time to use it is if you have some kind of setup in the um in the corner going on I, I can try to like point it out when I go for it because there are certain situations I'll I'll actually use it for Also haven't played Miles Morales, but we'll get on that sometime soonish. Have you not played it yet, man? Venom needs a full game. Well, there was Ultimate Spider-Man that came out a long time ago where you could be Venom But I agree a Venom game w would be cool. I'd be here for it. Oh My god No, man's command grabbing me. Oh god, okay. At least he's in the corner. I'll take that, I guess. Alright, he's gonna down one. I'm gonna make it with and then I'm gonna throw him. Never mind, I lied. Alright, we good. Oh crap. Ah. We'll take that. Yeah, we fussy that shit.
been busy with other things. I think after a few games and shows, I'll get into it. Who you like uh, better, Batman, Spider-Man villains or Batman villains? Ooh, dude, Prince, thanks for the like. Like, honestly, honestly, man, Spider-Man has the best roster of villains from Marvel. I think free. Batman has the best roster of villains from DC. Free. Honestly. They're both so good, though. It's it's honestly... They're both 10 out of 10 type of rosters, you know? It's it's honestly hard to choose one over the other. But I, I do love them both. I really do. It's, it's hard to choose one, one over the other for those. Damn it. Billy says for real. Yeah, no, they're like it's 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 so good. And like when I was a kid, when I was a kid, um, I had I got these uh cards, like trading card type of things that had like a bunch of like Spider-Man things, Spider-Man villains, and all that stuff. So I got I had a lot of stuff that had like Spider-Man related villains and stuff. So I got to know them pretty well. And like I watched the shows, um, so I got to know them pretty well from watching the shows as well. But like I watch the Batman shows too, right? So I I was I'm quite familiar with the vast majority of the villains from both, and I just think they're both awesome. Nice, that was good. Did you see the gaming award nomination today on YouTube? I did not. I will say though that I think I think when it comes to like villains though, I I think the Joker is like the most iconic villain, like just straight up. I think he's the most iconic villain. So if if you go by that, then then Batman would ultimately have the better um, rogues gallery or whatever you know uh, selection of, of of villains if you go by that. If you had to choose one or the other, then the fact that the Joker is part of Batman's villains, I think, might give uh, might give Batman the edge over Spider-Man. Uh, Billy says, "Have you watched Spectacular Spider-Man? Uh, you know, is that the one that's like Spectacular, Spectacular Spider-Man? Not really, honestly. I I never really got into that one. I feel like at that point, maybe I would just." starting to get too old or something and I, something about the animation to me it looked a little bit kitty so I didn't really get into it like that like I was super into the 90s uh, Spider-Man when that came out I just think that one's like great but I wasn't a huge fan of the animation of Spectacular Spider-Man I watched because they were saying we would hear something about the next NRS game during Game Awards they said that? They said we we're going to hear something about the next NRS game on, this, on the Game Awards. Imagining if Joker had the Carnage symbiote host, that would be some craziness. Craziest crossover. Ah, uh, this guy. What up, Johnny? How you doing? Billy says, really spectacular uh, look is awesome. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's just not for me. Devora. I just like the, the 90s version of uh, Spider-Man. I like that look a lot more. Um, Raul, Johnny, thanks for the likes, guys. Appreciate it. That's a rumor, NRS saying say that. Yeah, that's a big rumor, though. I highly recommend going back into it. Spectacular is considered like the best TV series of Spider-Man ever. Ever? Really? I actually, I, I think I might have watched like a part of an episode, but I actually never sat down and like tried to watch mul multiple episodes of it. Katana. 
Is this the guy that has bad internet as key? Um, no, I think that was like someone named Sergey. Stream lag, didn't hear my full opinion. Damn, I don't know what where you missed out on, Billy. But like, I was just saying, I haven't I haven't watched like a whole lot of spectacular Spider-Man. I never really tried to give it much of a chance, to be honest. I can't believe how quick he uh, recovered on the ground there. Fi uh, Fiaz with the like, that was really bad on my part. Johnny says, good man, just had a four-day vacay in Michigan, went to Grand Rapids Comic Con, and spent the weekend with Uncaged Caboose. I was about to say, when you said that, I'm like, hey, you, you saw Caboose in Uncaged Games, didn't you? Did you actually, like, chill show with them, or did you, like, just see them at a booth? Like, what was happening with that? Well, you probably chill chilled with Uncaged, right? He, he probably knows you quite well. That's sick, though. Get him eventually. Ah. Highly recommend getting into it. Should be on Netflix and Disney Plus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is on Disney Plus. I think I've noticed it there. Thanks for dropping that light. Uh oh. Ha! Oh. Oh. Bit of both. They both had a booth but they know me personally, I see. Also, do totally understand with the art style, 90 show is good too, yo. Yeah, it is. It is. Take that. Shan says back just on break at work. Oh, welcome back to the stream. Uh, have you watched Batman the Anime series and how go to that show is? People say spectacular just beats it with this incredible storytelling and, and character representation. It's just that good. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good stuff about the Batman anime series. I've seen some episodes of it, but I never watched the whole thing. Uh, part of me is a little bit sad about it that I never bothered watching the whole thing, but. I don't know, I just never completely got into it. But I've definitely seen some episodes. How's that friends out in Michigan as well? We packed, picked up a B&B &B and everything. Oh, this man had a whole weekend. Well, I'm glad you had a, you had a good little trip there, man.
Oh shit. I was hoping I could somehow convert off that. Bam. Bam and 97 is fantastic. Too highly recommend. And you know, you'll always have time for the shows like that. Just take your time. It's true. Part of me is honestly waiting till I have kids. Ow. Because when I have kids, you know, then I can just watch with them. My wife won't have to make me feel like I'm not being productive, I guess. Man, I just love when I have people in the corner with the Vora. It's the it's the most fun. The most fun. Look at that shit. That's that's the most fun. You want the most fun? That's what you gotta do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn. The son, Ian. Thanks for the like, guys. Mmm, big whiff, big whiff. Thank you for dropping those likes, Hassan and Ian. I appreciate it, guys. We're at 177 reactions out here. Drop those likes if you haven't already. Uh, I think B will have, it will have in two years. His wife will get pregnant next year. That's the hard read, Key. That's the hard read. Favorite Fatal Blow animation-wise? I love Scorpion, Cabal, Sub-Zero, Jax, Kano, Spawn, Robocop, etc. Trying to, let, let me think of those, actually, right now. Let me let me think of those those Fatal Blows. What about Devora? Honestly, I think Devora's is up there. I think it's pretty cinematic. Pretty nice to look at. Robert, thanks for the like. I think a lot of the, I don't know if many of the Fatal Blows like really stick out to me like that though. I literally just beat this guy, but okay. Um, I don't think a whole lot of the Fatal Blows really stick out to me like that, where I'm just like, man, this Fatal Blow was epic to watch. Like, I don't know if any of them do that for me, you know? Liu Kang's is kind of cool though, with the dragon and shit, I will say. The boards is underwhelming compared to the others, in my opinion, alongside Jade's. Welcome back, David! Welcome back, man. Devore is nice to look at. I don't know if that's my favorite, says Key. I don't really know if I have a favorite from them. Uh, Robert, thanks for dropping that like, man. Oh. Oh. Blow is cool too, flying and everything. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's cool that she flies. Wow, that man committed. I like Scarlet's Fatal Blow, not gonna lie. Stab slicing you with your own blood. That is pretty cool. Scarlet does have a pretty nice Fatal Blow. Fucking god, he literally could have killed me guys there. What are you guys' favorite friendship? There's some good ones, says David. Jax's is definitely up there. I think Jax has a really nice friendship. I actually really like Frost's friendship as well. Devora's is kind of low tier. Kind of, could have definitely been better, I think. 
Raiden has a really nice friendship. I think a lot of people would probably agree that Jax and Raiden have some of the best friendships. I love doing that, by the way, now. That's like my, my new shit. Nice little 26% for it. That ain't bad. And Baraka? So, David, you like Baraka's friendship? The sun says butterfly. Yeah, you know, it could have been better, man. It could have been better. Damn. Fuck. Jay Nish with the like. Thank you. You gotta be shitting me. That is something. Adam says I like Baraka. You like Baraka's friendship? Final round. Fight. Damn it. Damn it. Take that, hold up. Felipe, thanks for the like. This is the an, a range that I can actually do this. There we go. He did it. He fucking uh, did it. No. Okay. 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 Hold up. This this guy is actually kind of fun to play against right now. We were we were doing all right. I think we should beat him. I did just beat him 2-0. Hold on. Rashad was saying spawn is nice. His friendship. His friendship's kind of kind of lackluster for me. Okay. Katana gets some pretty good damage off of Flaw's Lockup, too. Man, really tried to just up to me there? Are you crazy, man? Oh, crap. Aw, oh, they didn't get him. Zuko, Rashad, thanks for the likes, guys. No. Hold up. We can do this. We can do this. One more good touch. And we're in there. Ooh. Rashad, Eddie, thanks for the likes, guys. That was good. That was good. Man's playing good. Round two. Fight. Ooh. Could have been worse. Can I use Sand to punish that actually? Yeah, alright, I'll take that. Oh no. Ah. Damn. Mm. Sometimes people just don't uh, get the range that we have out here. Ooh, he tried. That would have been fucking tragic. Eddie, Rashad, Zuko, thanks for dropping those likes, guys. Final round. Fight. Damn. I thought we were gonna get him there. No. Fuck. Why does he recover so fast? Come on, we need this shit. Down 60%. 
Nah, fuck that, bro. Fuck that. Fuck. No. Damn it! I just beat him 2 0. Give me a run back, man. How would you feel if Devorah was top tier broken and tournament banned? It's hard for me to answer a question like that because it's unrealistic. But ultimately, I would feel very sad about it and uh, pretty, pretty, pretty perturbed. Damn it! I want my run back. I just beat him 2-0. He got lucky. Remember when EU banned Jackie in tournaments? Did they actually though? I thought like there were people like talking about wanting that to happen, but I don't know if that actually happened. Um, Eddie and Gilbert, thanks for the likes, guys. Forgot to mention, still flying back home as we speak, but I'm almost there. Service cuts in and out. Oh, you're you're uh, on on what plain Wi-Fi? Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're at 184 reactions on the stream. Drop those likes if you haven't already. Maybe we could break 200 for the day. That'd be uh, pretty awesome. We're just doing some combat league grinding out here. What up, Edgar in the chat says, which character has gotten the biggest nerf of all time in MK? That's an interesting question. Edgar, thanks for dropping that like. In, in, in Mortal Kombat? Hmm. In Mortal Kombat? Like, Tanya got heavily nerfed in Mortal Kombat from when she first came out. Another character that got heavily nerfed was like Alien. Um, I know if we include Injustice, um, Deadshot in Injustice 2, incredibly nerfed. Like that man went from top five to bottom five. Actually, if we talk about the biggest nerf of all time, it could even be, it, it could be Devora pre-patch. Cause Devora pre-patch uh, in this game was, was insane before the day one patch came out they literally brought I, she might have been top five but she was likely top 10 area likely but she went to bottom five like day one love amir says like he's still here i thought you were going to sleep good sir thanks for sticking around hassan and dropping 45 twinkies in the chat thank you very much hassan i appreciate that man tanya did come to nice scorpion got the shit nerfed out of him off rip and mk11 oh did he Son was saying break over, have fun, be in a hive. All right, later, Son. Thanks for the 45 Twinkies, man. Uh, Edgar, thanks for dropping that like. Hey, Edgar with a 400 Twinkie Bomb activating a star party challenge. Hashtag Edgar, hashtag Asan in the chat. Thank you for activating a star party challenge, guys. We got five minutes on the clock. If you guys want to drop some Twinkies to help crush the star party challenge, I will have a nasty bean if we complete that shit. Five minutes out here, guys. Thanks so much for joining, everyone. Raul dropping 50 Twinkies. Thank you, Raul. What is this guy doing? Okay. Daniel with the light. Thank you, Daniel. Hold up. Alright, tell me that combo wasn't at least a little bit, a little bit spicy. Can we get a little uh, clip in the chat for that combo, by the way? Can we get an exclamation point clip space 60 for that? That was, that was kind of a nice combo. I might have to might have to make a little reel out of that one because that was kind of fire. Okay. 
David says a little saucy, right? That was a little bit saucy. Thanks for the clip, David. Oh, well, I wanna, I wanna brute. All right, that's fine. He doesn't want to play. I'ma still take the brutal though. Dave says, think the 30 caught it? Pretty sure, hopefully. Who sells more obscure fighter, but it's top tier broken pay to win or a love character, but bottom two? I wouldn't really know sales wise, to be honest, but if we look at like Molina, who was a highly request requested fan favorite, um, she came into the game and was not top tier and you really don't see a whole lot of her, to be honest. So I think that does play a part. By the way, guys, we do have a Star Party Challenge active in the chat. Three minutes to go if you guys want to drop some Twinkies to help crush that. I'd appreciate it. Also, feel free to drop those likes. I appreciate the like. Daniel, we need 14 reactions to hit a cool 200 for the day. I think me watching uh, the Rumble vs. Dev stream really, uh, really did uh, hurt the viewership a bit, but... What can I say? I, I, I kind of wanted to know what was happening, man. Alright. Your zoning can SMD. That's kind of funny. Kind of an uh, ironic variation name. Okay. I uh, gotta love the... the KBs. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that, thank you. Mer, mer, mer. so funny that this fan's literally just trying to zone me out with a variation like 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 this. It's not gonna work, man. I'm I'm honeybee. You can't zone me out. I'm gonna be right in that fucking face. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. What does SMD mean? Suck my fill in the blank Alexander thanks for the like funny he quit but he technically didn't need to but all right that's fine innocence lost Cetra deserved it duck maybe it might have been duck I think that's what I was gonna say to finish the, the sentence Lubomir likes it liked the uh, quitality perhaps toxic says Billy no nah, that's not toxic I did nothing toxic there and he says, done with work, heading home now. Wife said she needs to talk when we get home. I don't like, we need to talk, talks. Uh-oh, Andy. Uh-oh. You know, I told my wife that one time, just because I had stuff I needed to tell her, but she thought I was going to break up with her. Not really, though, but kind of funny. Uh, what up, Paul Z? Welcome to the stream, man. John says, suck my dolphin. That would be uh, SMDD, dolphin dive. Suck my dolphin dive. That's that's another thing that people like to say sometimes, I hear. Going back a bit, who would win uh, in a Batman villain or a Spider-Man villain? Palsy with a like, thank you. Who would win between the Batman and the Spider-Man villains? Part of me feels like the Spider-Man villains are just... better? Like, stronger? Like, more menacing, maybe? Like, there's a lot, like... 
some of the Batman villains, like, I don't know, like Cat, Catwoman, the Penguin, it's kind of, you know, not as tough to deal with. I, I would think the Spider-Man villains would fuck them up. Uh, Palsy, uh, Gerald with the likes, Palsy with the share as well, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Um, what do we want to do here? Let's go, let's go with some Kotal. John says Batman villains all day? You think the Batman villains would win? Yeah, Batman villains are like just crazy people. Spider-Man villains got that superhuman shit. There's like some some exceptions, you know, like Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, Clayface. Like they're all some superhuman type of shit going on there. But a lot of the Batman villains are like, you know, you can beat them without needing any powers. Just type of shit. Wow, that was cool. I'll take that. Bit Penguin versus Carnage is a mismatch. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm wondering if I can make this man rage quit. We're gonna put him back in the corner. Does Superman count as a Batman villain? No, <laughs> because for one thing, he's not a villain. Ow. Grab him again. We're gonna grab him again. And then we're gonna grab him again. And then we're gonna grab him one more time. We're gonna grab him one more time. <laughs> uh, Isa, thanks for dropping that like. Appreciate it. Spider-Man villains don't have losing matchups. This poor guy, Toxic Frog. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do about the command grab. Poor guy. Nowhere, man. Ultimate. Need some challenges. I need my sub back. I miss the stickers and reactions. This is Michael. Hey, Michael. You know. You could become a supporter out here. I'm pretty sure there's a little button on your screen, you know. If you enjoy the content and such, you know, feel free to become a supporter. I'ma just grab him. I'ma just grab him. And I'ma just keep grabbing him. And we're gonna see what happens. We're just gonna see what happens. I'ma I'm only grabs. Only grabs. When's he gonna start jumping? I literally don't remember how to sub manually. Worst mod ever? Oh no, for real, David? There's a link. I can drop a link in the chat. You want some cheese with that wine? <laughs> oh shoot. Oh no. Oh no. If you guys want to become supporters out here, Where's where's the link? Pretty sure there's a link. Here you go, guys. If you want to become a supporter, there's a link in the chat for you. We're gonna amp this. Keep him in the corner. <laughs> I think he just chose to be toxic AM sheesh. This man doesn't understand how to deal with the command grab. Alright, he's gonna grab me back. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh shoot. Only grabs. Only grabs. One more. 
Nee, nee. Alright, that might have been a little bit toxic. That might have been a little bit toxic. How am I running into people like this? I don't know. Literally killed them with nothing but grabs. I think I found a glitch in MK11. If you do a brute while your character is imbued with strength. Okay. Then your gear levels up much faster? What? For real? You see, and thanks for dropping that like out here. Appreciate it. Like as soon as he saw you wave dash, he spammed down to you towards the end, only for the command grab to eat it every single time. You know, gotta love the mid command grabs out here. Cool Khan's command grab is just pretty ridiculous. We're at 191 reactions on the stream, by the way, guys. Drop those likes if you haven't already. We're nine reactions away from a cool two a hundo. We're currently dropping our controller on the ground, hoping it doesn't break. And we're also playing in combat league, trying to see how far we can get. Maybe we could even hit Elder God this season. Maybe we could hit Elder God in two counts. Like that'd be pretty crazy. But I am planning to get um I am planning to get some uh Rumbleverse games going tomorrow for the uh season two uh update. Austin, thanks for dropping that like. I appreciate that. Hey, Edgar! A drop in 200 Twinkies out here. Hashtag Edgar in the chat. Thank you so much for the generosity, man. I appreciate it, dude. Hashtag Edgar out here. Valente Marvel 01. This man has a... You know, I respect the fact that this man wants to play so much, but man, 301 wins to 317 losses? Couldn't, couldn't be me, man. Caught Black Panther 2 over the weekend, by the way. 8.5 out of 10 without spoilers. That's a pretty good uh, rating, actually. Lady Katana. Uh, first person in the chat that says a character that I know how to play, I will choose. Because I'm not scared of this guy. So, first person in the chat that says a character that I know how to play, I will choose. David says 600 games ain't nothing to me, not gonna lie. But like, man, 317 L's. That's a lot of L's, man. It's a lot of L's. Seasons, but uh, I don't know. John says Baraka. All right. Bleeding man festival. Johnny was saying a random select. Stop happening, but it's okay. How the fuck you matching with these people? I don't know, man. Maybe other people at my like rank are just not available, so they just give me like literally anyone. Shoot. Bad ping. Bad ping. Bad ping. Okay. Mitchell, thanks for the like. Final round. Fight. Oh, 
dude, what is he doing? Mitchell in the chat says, how the road to 100 turn out? It turned out pretty well. We got 100 wins and 7 losses. Which is, in my opinion, pretty good. Uh, Mitchell Paul, thanks for the likes, guys. Brock in the corner is dangerous. Oh, definitely. One of the most dangerous. How am I dying? How am I dying? Crazy. <laughs> Made some uh, questionable plays. Some questionable plays. I think I think this this uh, player would benefit from joining my Patreon. Honestly, I think they would. Uh, T Fresh, thanks for the like. Unforsaken. I think this guy is actually pretty good. Should have eaten the leg. Damn, you're right. Kian, thanks for the like, man. We're in demigod, though. We're getting kind of close to god right now. Getting uh, somewhat close. What up, Angela? Says, so sorry, V. Cooking dinner. Nothing to apologize for, but thanks for coming through the stream. We're at 196 reactions, guys. Four away from a cool 200. If you have not dropped a like, if you know someone who hasn't dropped a like, or if you have another account you could drop a like on, Drop those likes, I'd appreciate it. Uh, a little bit scared of a Liu Kang with Devorah, so we're gonna go noob. David says this dude was in my chat the other day. Was he toxic? Sherrod dropping a like out here. Thank you, Sherrod. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. Go Cabal! No, no Cabal, alright. I'm cool with it though. I am cool with it. What up, Fearless says, do you play shooters off stream? Um, I don't really game much if I'm not streaming. Generally, the majority of my gaming is streaming. I haven't played a shooter in a hot minute, though. I have not played a shooter in a hot minute. I was somewhat debating playing like the new Call of Duty, but I just never decided to get it. And there's just other things that I think I'm more likely to play. Shadow Realm Gaming with a like, thank you. Is understood. Hey man, that's just just what it is, man. Raul says, "Quick question: Be looking for noob at saints brutality when he throws them to the screen. Did it uh, once? Didn't know how I did it. By any chance, you know how? You have to hold up when you uh, when you do a forward throw on someone, but you do need the brutality unlocked. And if you have the brutality unlocked, you can just check the menu, and it'll tell you how to do it. But you got to hold up, and you got to have the uh, brute unlocked." Oh, 
Oh man, he did it. What? How'd I get hit, bro? No. I don't know how I got hit there. Sad. Fearless says one more question. Whenever I'm ready to lose to you, can we get some sets in for the culture? Like, I'm down, dude. When I'm, like, streaming and stuff, like, if you want to play after the set, like, I'm down to play. As long as I'm on streaming and not doing something too important, like, I'd be down to uh, run a set. Fearless, did you want to play him? If you want to run a set, uh, I could run a set after this. Round two, fight. that <laughs> some cheesy shit but you know this is not ready yet. I don't know if you'll ever be quote unquote ready, to be honest. You can't be ready. Oh. You tried. David you like the jump one opti and the double ducks on the uh, throws the command grabs that was kind of good recent pros from three years ago it said presidents are temporary but wakanda is forever <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah dude matt says that was beautiful thank you matt Johnny says landed in, L in LA, now for the two ex extra two hours back home. Damn, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of traveling time right there, man. Hey, and thank you very much for dropping those likes out here, guys. We did hit a nice 200 reactions on the stream. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate y'all uh, dropping those likes, follows, and shares out here. Was so excited for the first Black Panther movie, says Eddie. It was good, though. It was good. It didn't disappoint. 
I'm kind of wondering how Black Panther 2 is going to be without Chadwick Boseman in there, you know? Without the the Black Panther. I'm not, how does the story really uh, tell that? Because at the end of the first movie and whatever, he, he never died. Oh my god, is this dude? Is this dude? This is the, the Sikander stand. King Messiah? Raiden? Fucking crazy ass Raiden player? This is him. We got him again. Adam says, let's see some Kotal play. Okay, we'll get some Kotal play this one. Total con. Raiden. A Lubomir dropping the 1200 Twinkies in the chat. Hashtag Lubomir out here. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Bag the fuck out of him, yeah? Maybe we should. Alright, so what we're gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna I'm gonna block his down one and hold block because he likes to do down one storm cells a lot. Back one two storm cells a lot. So we just gotta we just gotta block. Just gotta block. And I'm pretty sure we'll do alright. This is the same guy, mind you, that said, I can only win with Devora, even though I beat him with Baraka. Okay, it's fine. Same guy, guys. I don't know what he's saying. I'm, I'm disappointed that I can't hear him. Like, he shouldn't be muted right now. I don't know what he's saying, though. Mad disappointed to, to not be hearing what he's saying, though. David says, Livemir set the bar so high when he don't know he's 12 it looks small, which is actually crazy because it's still kind of loud. I know, dude. Big hashtag Livemir out here. Thank you so much for the Twinkies, man. Fucking G's, dude. Oh, he left. 
Man didn't want me to mercy his ass! <sighs> didn't have a whole lot to say that time, unfortunately. Always a blessing when Lubomir gives Twinkies, no matter what number, ain't that right? It's a blessing when anyone drops any amount of tw Twinkies. Doesn't matter who, I appreciate it, guys. Angel says, what happened to your GG sticker? Just asking. We uh, we had to replace it with the uh, Toxic Frog instead. I had to replace something. Unfortunately, on Facebook Gaming, we have a, a maximum uh, 16 sticker limit. So if we don't have, uh, if we want new uh, stickers, we gotta, we gotta replace current ones. But like, just because they're gone, it doesn't mean we can't get it back. I could bring back the GG sticker if, if, the, if the people of the stream, if you guys want me to bring it back and replace something else, let me know. It's, it's not too difficult to, uh, to do that. So if you guys really want the GG sticker back, we could bring it back. And he says you missed the funny comments. When people ask me, do you like the noob mirror? I just say, love the mirror. Okay, I'm leaving now. This man, Andy. Call me out. I'm done. David says, I'd say put a GG sticker back and take spawn off. You don't really play spawn super heavy anyway. See, like, it's a, it's a good point. It's just that the spawn sticker looks cool. So that's why I like to have it there. But, you know, it's, it's a fair point. It's a fair point. Let's go with the uh, Merlina. It doesn't have to be the same GG sticker. I, well, I don't have other GG stickers. It would have to be, I'd have to commission someone to make it for me. Andy wants me to get rid of the Devora sticker. What's up, Magic? Welcome to the stream, man. You motivate me to be better, not at the game, but at streaming, and this is fearless? Hey, I appreciate that, man. Why not at the game, though? Is my gameplay not good enough? Are we not sweaty enough? What do you mean? What do you mean? Get, yeah, the fearless said your gameplay mid. Yeah, what's that about? Man, dissing me out here. What up, Krom? First comment of the day is MK11 is ass, that's why. Thanks for joining, man. You finish uh, Sonic Frontiers yet, Krom? I may or may not have tuned in. Jerry, thanks for the like. I might have been lurking. I'm a Lou main, so you know I'm a real big ninja killer fan, but I love your gameplay too, no disrespect. Yo, it's all good, man. I, I like to troll just a little bit. I like to troll just enough for people to know I'm trolling, and not enough for them to think, you know, I'm I'm an actual dick. Uh, Jared, thanks for the like. Crumb mm, with the like. Tom dropping a hundo Twinkie says, let's go, bro. Love a spawn, KB. I'm not used to spawn, but okay. Ooh, ooh! Oh, that was almost sick. Thanks for the hundo Twinkies, Tom. 10 gifted subs for you to talk like Batman. What? I feel like I just can't <laughs> talk like Batman. 
Uh oh. Oh. Well, you're dead. I'm Batman. That's as good as I can do, really. Jared says, hope you're having a good day, man. I am having a good day. Thanks for coming through, dude. Chrome says, finish Saturday night. Was it all you hoped it would be? Melina wins. Hashtag Tom in the chat, by the way. Thank you very much for the hundo uh, Twinkies out here, Tom. How do you even talk like Batman? Like, what do you mean? You know, Quake would probably be able to do that. He's pretty decent at uh, voices. Ah, uh, that's not what we wanted. No. Mer. Best modern Sonic game in the PS4 or 5 era, but that's not saying a lot. Yeah, it's really not. I feel like a lot of the Sonic games just feel pretty lackluster. I haven't played a lot of them, but from what I've seen. Like, Sonic Adventure 2, Adventure Battle 2 though, that shit. That's, that's, that's peak Sonic right there, peak. <laughs> Alright, that might have been just slightly toxic. Like, slightly, though. Can someone clip that, actually? Can we get a exclamation point clip 60 on that, maybe? That was, that was kind of good. <laughs> That's uh, some peak Molina gameplay. Trin says in a Halo Infinite, if you're playing an objective game mode, it's normally best two out of three. If enemy team doesn't win a round and your team wins them all, you can get a medal called Flawless Victory. They definitely that I'm pretty sure MK came up with the term, right? Thanks for the clip, David. Appreciate it, man. Love that Molina brute, says Billy. Okay, here, give me my fucking run back, dude. This guy? This guy? I wanted my run back for this. We're gonna get his ass. We are gonna get his ass. Oh, what the? No. Oh. Why? Why you gotta go Del? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I think I've gotten better at the matchup. Maybe. Potentially. I might have gotten a little bit better at this matchup, maybe. All right. Okay. Okay.
Thank God. Ibrahim, thanks for the like, man. Appreciate it. Round two. Fight. Okay. Surprised he didn't spend the bar. Shit. There's no way, right? There's no way, right? Fuck. That was right there, man. I just needed him to press a little button. Damn, almost. We were so close, man. Almost had a, a nice ass comeback. E Crumb with the 10, 28 days of followage out of here. Okay, he says he ranks the top two out of all Sonic games. That's pretty damn hot. Pretty damn high uh, ranking. Mm, spacing. X the mortal with the like. Thank you. Too bad. That's too bad. That's like actually really too bad. That's also too bad. This is all just too bad. That's also too bad. D is Scott. Thanks for the lights, guys. Committed. Oh shit. I might have just killed myself because I wanted to get a cool combo. 
And I wasn't in the range of said cool combo. And I might have just killed myself because of it. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. Alright, Andy, what up D says, what's up B and Hive, how's it going? It's going good, man. Welcome to the stream. Andy says, solve this slang for some Twinkies. Says, yo Tim, you got that strap on you? I know what a strap is. It's a fucking fanny pack that you put around your fucking chest. People like to put it around their chest now, but before in my day, we put it around our waist. Now people are putting it around their chest for some reason. That's a joke. That's a joke, okay? It's a fucking gun, bro. I know it's a fucking gun. Uh, to be fair, Andy, I didn't read um, Magic's uh, comments about that. I didn't read his comments about it. Not the fanny pack. <laughs> you know, I got I got some jokes. I got some jokes sometimes. Give me a new one that was too easy. I had to start off basic. Okay, give me some slang challenges, guys. Hive, hive, hive. Is that the new thing? Slang challenges? I'm down for some slang challenges. Honestly, you guys gotta, you guys gotta keep me young, okay? Cause I might just, I might, I'm, I might start showing my age, okay? I might start showing my age. So you guys gotta help me stay young. Let me know what the slang is that you guys have ha say these days, so I can know. Gunman G, I'm gonna fuck this guy up. First person that says a character in the chat that I know how to play, I will choose. Yo, Lubomir, dropping 530 Twinkies out here, hashtag Lubomir in the chat. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate them Twinkies, man. Thank you so much. All right. Um, anyone say in the chat who I should use? Um... Noob says Jarrett. All right, Moby Ghost. we'll use some noob. Thank you very much for the 530 Twinkies out here, Lubomir. Hashtag Lubomir in the chat out here, guys. Appreciate the Twinkies, dude. All right, you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. X says, I said spawn before he did. I don't know, first thing on my, my, my screen was noob. So he went with the noob. Although a spawn pick would have been, would have been nice too, honestly. How do you get that combo off that? Oh, I don't even have Spirit Ball. I don't know what I'm doing. Get the... Magic in the chat was saying, you don't want me, I'm too street, you'll get lost in the sauce? Nah, let me know, man. Tell me about all the slang I need to know. If I ever, like, you know, end up in New York one day, and people are talking to me, I want to know what they're saying. 
Now I know if they say something about the brick, I, I, it's, it's cold. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known that. There's actually a store in Canada called The Brick. I would have thought they might have been referring to that. But that's a furniture shop. Ow. Oh my god, I suck. Jerry says, love that brutal, let's go. Hell yeah, dude. We'll take that. WWE that man's soul. It's two mentions of new before spawn on my screen too type of shit. Yeah, exactly. From the mill where shit real and you gotta keep steal or get killed. But we won the NBA championship last year. To be honest, I don't know half of what you said there. Keep steal or get mill killed. Well, I'm guessing that means you gotta strap up, right? With them, them straps. Yeah. Feeling that moment when the unoptimal ass of a champ, I'm in tears. <laughs> that was so funny, man. That was so funny. David says, did I tell you Ken Killer beat me in Kale earlier? And he messaged me saying he should be uh, playing in the Res Elder God finale and not me. What a hater. No. He said that? Damn. Why, why did he play then? That's his own fault. Damn, that's, 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 uh, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Solve this. So the other day, I had a thotty with a body. Come test the zotty? Then she blew me like a shoddy. Well. Obviously. He had a thoughty with a body. So, ho, nice bot, right? Uh, come test the zoddy. Blew me like a shoddy. The zoddy. I don't know what that is, honestly. That could be that could be a lot of things. Um, I'm gonna guess that's drugs, and she, you know. Fellatio, you know. So, I, I get the gist of what you're saying there. Was I correct? Was I was I correct? Was I right? Drugs is too encompassing. You have to be specific. What kind of drug? Zotty? What's a zotty? Um, I don't know. Cocaine? Crumb says, I'm showing my age now. What the fuck was that? See, he doesn't know either. Zotty? My lingo for zotic. Some called it za. But you on point. See, I know things, man. I know, I get the gist of shit. That gas, Tim? What are you talking about that gas? What, is, what does that mean? Short for exotic gas? What is that? What's that? Fucking... Man? What is that? Can we get the scientific name? For this, for this drug that we're speaking about. C 
call it Zaza. I think, I think that's the name of a villain in Batman. Zaza. It's an herb? Marijuana? Oh, is it? Marijuana? Actually? Zadi? Zadi is, is short for weed? That's another another name for it? I didn't know that. High-grade weed. Oh, is it? Okay. The more you know. Thanks for educating me out here, guys. I hope you guys aren't, like, lying to me about some of this shit, by the way. Because then I'm going to look real stupid one day when I come out into the real world and I start saying all this, this fucking slang. Froggy FGC? If only I was on the Toxic Frog right now. Match says, I'll never steer you wrong. You won G on me? Okay. That must be another saying of some sort, but thank you, Magic. Uh, let's go with the, the Devora. Maybe, maybe this will be the last one. JV2. Before I had kids, I was a monster out of here. Now I just chill, pay bills, and stay out the way. This is good, you know? Be, be safe. For some reason, Jackie, like, just her... Her hitbox just moves backwards sometimes with when she like whips throws and stuff. It's so strange. on me and one mil for real are some of my phrases let people know I ain't fucking around I mean what I say it's M a J L keep a K <laughs> what M A J I keep a K okay he's spelling his name out here I see what you're doing <laughs> I see what you're doing man <laughs> that's funny He says call it green, but that's just me. What, weed? I usually just call it weed. <laughs> I'd have all these these fancy ass names, man. Zadi. I just learned about Zooted a few months ago.
Okay. What's funny is the word weed is technically still slang too. I know. Yeah, that's that's that anything that's not like what marijuana or cannabis is probably some sort of slang, right? Yep, that's the, that's the shit right there. That's the new honeybee shit. Tim trying to milk the rest year of his 20s as much as possible right behind you bud hey man we're getting old out here literally about to hit 30 and then I think I'll have I'll have more of a a good reason as to why I'm I'm not as knowledgeable of these things All right, we just hit God out here, guys. We actually could potentially hit Elder God. Another another week left in the season of Combat League before it's over. Try this new beeswax. You can just start naming the weed whatever you want. Yeah, is that that's probably how slang starts, isn't it? One of those guys just waiting to be an old man, you know, maybe something along those lines. But anyways. Thank you very much for joining everyone. Appreciate everyone coming through the stream. And the next one, if you guys want to, you know, teach me about some slang, by all means, I'm here for it, guys. Thank you very much for joining everyone. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Huge shout out to the man, Lubomir, for blessing the stream once again out here. I appreciate every single person coming through the stream, dropping those likes, getting us past 200 reactions out here. Traylon, thanks for dropping that like as well. Appreciate it, guys. Hope to see you guys in the stream tomorrow. It'll be a good one. Thanks for joining, everyone. I'm going to send a raid. Let's see if there's someone I can raid out here. Maybe maybe we can send a raid over to... Let's send it to a Black Lion Gamers. Uh, hanging out, chilling. If you want to chill with them, send them some love. Take care, guys. Hope to see you guys in the stream tomorrow. Take care.